I'm in the zone now. All right. Hey, it's it's us. Your zone. Oh, and we are here for session number one of the insert name here campaign. And uh, man, that sounds dumb as fuck saying out loud, but <laughs> it's too late now. I have already made all the thumbnails. <laughs> all right. So uh, if you weren't here last week, we spent the entire session basically making characters and uh, setting a little, well, not really setting expectations for what was coming up. I kind of kept you guys in the dark about that as much as possible, but we did make sure that we knew quite a bit about ourselves because there's going to be plenty of moments when uh, we, um, there's going to be several moments where you guys are going to need to remember a little bit about your past and bring it up in hopefully defense of your sanity, but also maybe to use it against you. So this will be great. Oh, oh fuck yeah. Cool. Anyways, so let's do a proper reintroduction with our mostly finalized characters real fast. If we just want to go left to right on the VTT. Is that is everyone's the same question mark? It, it yeah. should be. You're on. Yeah. One, Jinx, you're on the left. On you start the, us. On the tabletop. Oh, OK. All right. Cool. Great. Awesome. So, hi, I am Jinx. I. uh I don't know what else I was supposed to say. I didn't read the cue card. Um, no, <laughs> I specialize in medicine, poisons, hacking. Um, and for funsies, we're just going to say Jenks is a drag queen. Why? Because that gives me an excuse to do my makeup every <laughs> session, giving myself a challenge. So, uh, yeah, there's that. And if you want to know more, I don't know. Watch the fucking stream. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, Cassidy. Cool. So uh, Cassidy here's uh, he's just kind of a guy doing his thing with a gun. Um, he's got a real unfortunate go about in life. Uh, he, you know, he's 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 doing his best, but no nothing's doing its best for him. <laughs> um, he did just get a, a cool new girlfriend though. So he's, he's at least got that going for him. But other than that, it's uh, it's weird. You say that like you just bought yourself a new car. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, it's the same feeling. It's, it's new and it's exciting and it's fast and a little bit scary and you always got to say she. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah. All right, Max. Uh, what's up, everybody? My name is Max, Max Schwagger. Uh, I'm a pilot. Um, there's not really much more to tell. I like Pathetic. to go fast. That's, that's kind of <laughs> it. All right. So hopefully Luciano could do something a little bit better, please. Mm. All right. Well, I'm Luciano. I am um, probably one of the best smugglers around over here. Fortunately, I have to uh, daily deal with Max and his um, problems. He uh, often leaves the Max? ship very dirty, and I am cleaning up after him. Um, but um, other than that, I've probably... I mean, I know everybody's probably seen the best show around. I mean, I read i read the book, but um, I'm, I literally got a, a thing going on that's basically Spike Spiegel. I'm... Uh, Pissed off a whole um a whole crime syndicate, um and uh, my ex girlfriend wants to kill me now so, that's me. So what about your character? <laughs> that's, that's me. That's my whole life. God damn it. Bro doesn't make characters. He just plays himself in game. <laughs> As you should. All right. As you should, brilliant. Yeah. And let's have the super unnerving C H A D. Wrap, us, wrap it up for us. Did you end up filling out that acronym yet? Uh, yeah, if you want me to get it to you privately sometime, I can go ahead and do that. I just wanted to leave it to a little bit of a surprise. Uh, I don't think Chad would share that openly. Okay, yeah, under no, then, yeah then, and then don't go in and do that. Okay. Well, yeah, um, I'm Chad. Uh, Chad is a combat android. Uh, a little bit different than the androids I've played in the past. Chad doesn't pretend to be um, someone that they're not, but, but kind of a very business-like demeanor, but doesn't 
try to be super robotic either. So whether or not they're uh, an android, uh, obviously we have the mechanical mechanical downside of being near an android, so there's always going to be the same trauma response, but Chad doesn't go around openly declaring that, hey, I'm a robot. Uh, really, it's just a very business-like demeanor, very short, serious, uh, blunt kind of thing. Chad works with Yandi and Brunhilde, uh, members of like a crime, like, I guess they probably wouldn't call it a crime syndicate, but kind of a crime syndicate on a space station. <laughs> and Chad is uh, trained for linguistics and psychology and takes great pleasure in meeting out um, a sense of justice with interrogation uh, for Yandi and Brunhilde. Uh, their kind of calling card is a vibe shetty, and it looks like a Bowie knife, so they just flick that on, and they, they have like a kind of a vibrating blade. Definitely not lightsaber crazy, so not a plasma weapon, but quick enough to at least just eat through armor on the nano, uh, nano level there. And uh, that's that's Chad, short and sweet. Maybe is today's equivalent of a lightsaber. And uh, I'm actually glad that you brought up the, uh, the whole Yandi and Brunhilde thing, because it's actually everyone's associated backgrounds and their, I guess you could call it employers, that uh, they're, the, you're, they're the whole reason that you guys are all gathered together and getting ready to head out on what is set to be a rather difficult journey. Um, so we got Chad working for a combination of Yandi and Brutalhilda because they are kind of uh, the, the two closest working forces on board the Prospero. Uh, what about Luciano? Who are you working for? Working for Reedmar. Um, I'm one of his smugglers. I uh, kind of uh, made him a little upsetty spaghetti when I was younger by stealing from him, but he uh, realized the, uh, the finesse that I had, so I fell underneath his wing, and he paired me up with Max to kind of uh, punish me. <laughs> Brilliant. I so, like Reedmar. He's a hell of a guy. He recognizes. Uh, he recognizes. Talent. I mean, I like Reedmar. He's Sorry. he is a he's genuinely a good person, and I try to you know it's like almost a Robin Hood esque. I still stealing mostly for myself, but I also like to help others. And Reedmar is kind of along the same path line from what I understand. I feel like he no, he is much more straight and narrow than you are. I feel like he makes you do all the good things you do in your life. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I, I mean, that's just my suggestion. I know he, like, moves drugs around and shit like that, but uh, that's just that's product at the end bad. of the day. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so Raidmar is in charge of distribution and transportation on board the Prospero. Um, we have Yandi and Brunhilde, who Yandi is in charge of basically everything. Like, what she says goes and, and stays, unfortunately. Uh, she runs a somewhat decently sized gang of very violent and usually inebriated gangsters known as the Novos. And then we have Brunhilde, who serves as Yandi's right hand maiden, I guess. And Got him. she basically is the the jury and the judge and usually the executioner as well. I mean she has a bunch of executioners, don't get me wrong. But she is the one who decides that if someone's basically causing a disruptance on board the Prospero, which this is lawless land, okay? This is an X-class spaceport. So this is not something like, you know, oh, I stole from a store. Like, that, that's, that's settled between you and the store owner. But if you start fucking with, like, the, sh the space station's money or their supply lines or anything like that, then that's the sort of thing that you're going to be uh, sent to either the choke, which that is a... Basically, an oxygen, almost completely oxygen deprived prison that you could be sent to months to decades in. Just enough oxygen to keep you conscious, basically, but always in a state of acute hypoxia. Otherwise, you have, um, let's see, Cassidy, who are we working for? I don't think we quite nailed that down exactly. Um,. We were kind of dancing around the idea of uh, Brunhilde, mm -hmm. and just basically being uh, 
I guess you can say like one of her uh, patrols, one of her receivers, um, b bounty hunter in a in an ugly term. Go and grab somebody that's pissed off the Bratva. Uh, try to bring him back alive, or at least just for judiciary purposes. Usually, it's much better to be able to send people to the choke instead of just killing them. Like anybody on the ship can kill somebody else, but only Brunhilde can send you down to the choke. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. Really. So, uh, let's see, Jinx. Who are we working for? Uh, myself. No, just kidding. Um, I would say typical. I would have. Yeah. <laughs> I would say it's between like Angus and I guess uh, Uka because one is super into like cyber like tech and like security and intelligence and the other one's a chemist. So that's kind well, of what Jinx does. I mean, he's sort of a chemist. I mean, you'd, you'd be able to learn something about chemistry from him, but he's much more of like a like a religious figure than anything else. Unless your character has like a lot of sympathy and empathy for the people who get sentenced to the choke then I would say probably stay away from uh, Yuka. We, we, we definitely all stayed away from Yuka. <laughs> okay, yeah, because he, he is like a, a, a radical uh, choke opposer. He does not like the fact that this is even happening. So he constantly donates like O2 canisters down into the choke in hopes that it makes someone's life better. Anyhow, so yeah, Angus is definitely going to be the way to go. And like you said, he is a basically a tech wizard of sorts. Um, you may have had some uh, electronical computer ability before meeting Angus, but he's definitely refined your skills into something that's quite dangerous, I would say. Uh, the Canyon Heavy Market pretty much only employs the type of people that you would see in like intelligence gathering uh, services and shit like that. So um, you're you should be at least pretty smart and pretty well armed. So that's that's uh, that's a nice combo there. All right. So given that, I'm going to say there's probably going to be three different meetings um, that occur before you guys meet up in the hangar bay of the Prospero. Um, we're going to have uh, Cassidy and Chad being summoned to uh, Brunhilde's quarters uh, before you guys leave the Prospero. Do you guys have any, like, how do you usually act around Brunhilde? Uh, probably completely silent, extremely attentive, and just following her completely with uh, the gaze. So although Chad might have like a full helmet with a gas mask on at all times, just, just like constantly paying attention to what Brunhilde does. If Brunhend, uh, Brunhilde like gesticulates, so like does things with her hands while she talks or things like that, then Chad focuses on like the movements there. Um, but otherwise just very zeroed in. Uh, Chad secretly is a little, like a, a little fan of uh, Brunhilde, very uh, much of idol worship there. Nice. Sick. I love that. You're like a sentry on a gimbal. Hmm. All right. And Chad or Cassidy, not Chad. I just asked you. The other uh, C1. Yeah, I just <laughs> kind of talked to her like she's the one who brings my coffee. She fucking hates it and like doesn't really want me in her office a lot. But uh, yeah, she's just, I mean, you know, I'm good enough at what I do. So she's kind of stuck with me. Yeah. You've probably been on the wrong end of her laser musket at least once, for sure. Twice. One <laughs> d ten times. Go. Oh, oh shit! First roll. It's always something stupid, especially with it you. It is five. <laughs> Damn, that's actually. I've been bad. shot at. Been shot at once. She's pointed it at me five times. That's the difference. Brilliant. Excellent. So yeah. let's see with that. So you guys are going to head off to um, you guys are probably going to arrive at uh, Brunhilde's office, like right at the same time. Um, just imagining that the uh, 
the door is guarded by executioner guards that have like the very classic like cross spears. Well, they're they're like electric pole axes, more like. But um, when they see you guys, they, they the yes, they give you an, they give you an up and down, and then pull the spears back and like tap the doors or tap the floor, and the fucking doors open. And uh, fuck yeah, she uh, Brunhilde has a very um beautifully decorated office it looks almost like a log cabin uh in here um if you could imagine a slightly modernized version of that like there's a there's a fire in here and it smells like wood burning which is I, you don't want to know how she gets the wood it's quite a fucking issue amongst the uh, amongst the bratva <laughs> <laughs> the spits in her fucking trees Anyways, she's got a wood dealer. She's got a wood <laughs> dealer. <laughs> and Yuko killing. wants him dead. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, let's see. Um, but yeah, she has uh, she has a beautiful uh, headquarters. There's like lots of mounts from animals that uh, they've hunted over the years, and there's also like a ongoing like sentence counter that is currently in the low. Uh, two millions right now. So, it's um quite a place of beauty, at least on board the Prospero. Cool. She looks rather relaxed uh, when you guys come in. She's, like, got her feet up on the table, and you can see that she's, like, scrolling on, uh, like, a like a vision banner, HUD, or heads-up display. Nice. So, whenever you guys come in, she's going to sit up and take a good look at you guys. And um, she's going to say that I'm going to do something that I don't normally do. Magic. And you can see she looks over at her gun on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sit down. <laughs> Brilliant. Jack's going to remain standing, but like attentively like, oh, God, something exciting is happening. But nah, I'm like fucking arm up <laughs> slouched on the fucking chair looking like a dirtbag. Because like, thankfully there's a like a 20 foot long table between you and her, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, after she recovers from her moments of irritation, as do I, <laughs> uh, she restarts and she says that I'm going to do something I don't normally do and I am going to open up a little bit and tell you a little bit about myself. Okay? Deal. And part of that deal is that whatever is said in this room it never leaves this room and will never be discussed with anyone outside of this room lest you spend the rest of your existence in the choke. Or somewhere worse. Yeah, that's fair. I, I like those rules. I hear you lean with Charlie. Excellent. So she is going to uh, like do like a Tony Stark style, like expand the heads of display into something that you guys can see. And on it, you can see that there is it almost looks like a like a legal profile, like a law enforcement profile, not legal of Yandi. Um, instantly recognize her face. Anybody would. And you can see there's like estimated age and a lot of like information on her says redacted and there's like a whole lot of like tiny notes that Brunhilde's made on it and it looks like one of those like like psychopaths like like pin boards they have up on the wall when they're fucking <sighs> obsessed with some shit mm. and like she she expands it and it, it is like about a fucking like a 10 by 10 uh 10 foot by 10 foot display by the end of it of just conspiracy uh it's no secret to you two at least maybe not well known amongst the ship just given how those two conduct themselves but given the proximity that you both share between yandi and brunhilde you would know that they're in somewhat of a romantic relationship they are like they're frequently they frequently spend a lot of alone time with each other, which is exceptionally uncommon with anybody in the Bratva, but especially like the the leader who is known as like the coldest bitch in the plant or in the universe. 
and then the judge jury executioner style like very very strange to have them just hanging out you know i imagine they're not playing checkers together anyhow that's chess they they could be playing checkers <laughs> god that's damn it chest. <laughs> All right, that's the show. Thank you. <laughs> Great follow-up, John. <laughs> All right, so uh, she's she's going to continue after giving you guys a moment to look over the board. And uh, I've got a small gut feeling, you could say. Uh, not everything is as it truly seems with Yandi. And I recently got an opportunity to do some research on her. Um, Angus is sorting up uh, a mission of sorts. He's going artifact hunting, hunting again. And uh, while he's looking for whatever tech voodoo that uh, he hopes is going to change the world or whatever, um... I'm much more interested in what could be scavenged from the location that he's sending some people off to. So you're going to be sent off on this mission and you're going to be going to what is an old abandoned Android factory of sorts. There's not a whole lot of information about the place. So it's very old and most of the shit that comes up about it is redacted, of course. But I've been finding some trace similarities and bits of evidence here and there that suggest that Yandi might have a fair bit to do with this place. And I've never heard her speak about it ever, not in the last eight or eight or more years. So I uh, I don't like that. And you can see like she she looks a little like anxious. Um, you think it's like a like a forgotten trust fund or something? It could be, and you know if it's a money thing, whatever. That's that's only a weekend's long argument, and then it's settled. But I'm more so worried about. How do I say this? She's got big plans, plans that go far beyond the Prospero, and given how long that she's already been on board the ship and how much money we've made in the Sankarax trade, it's only inevitable before eventually she wants to move on to the next big thing. And I'm scared that that place might have something to do with it. So basically what I want you to do is go there and comb that place up and down, leave every, leave no path untouched to leave no manila folder unopened i want you to comb that place thoroughly and see if you can find anything about her okay i mean that's not that doesn't at all sound like an impossible task unless it's like on path with a meteor or something i hope not that could be in some of the redacted information for all i know though oh man that would suck what an end. Yeah. Yeah. Um. No, I mean, like, yeah, that, yeah, that could be done. Easy. You need to assure that nothing you find is compromised by any of Angus's crew. Do you understand? Yeah. I'll kill him. Brilliant. I I'd got love to you, hear. Judge. Um. Question, are we still under that vow of silence? Like, does it apply to me if I tell you something real quick? When when Yandi does that big sigh, Chad is going to slowly pull the Bowie knife out, like just hover on the button to flick it on, <laughs> like waiting, waiting for the command. <laughs> what is it? Well, I want a yeah first. Yes. Okay, cool. Because, man, I got some beef with Cutter, and he's been kind of, like, pissing me off lately, and I don't know who to, like, bring it to, because I can't bring it to him, because, you know, it's another, like, Brockford thing. But, like, just talking to you is, like, I'm, like, my, like, my buddy, 
and just as like a co-worker then like i just gotta get this off my chest and this dude he like killed my ex-girlfriend and like i totally know he did it and i don't like can i kill that guy a lot of things first but first and foremost i'm not your buddy i'm not your co-worker either i'm your boss yeah. first and foremost second i know all about this beef between you and cutter he loves talking about it every time he gets the chance to when the brat is gathered for business you're um quite a thorn in his ass but i wouldn't suggest taking on the security branch of the bratva there's uh no one else on the ship that's going to stand with you against that and um i don't know if you know this but he's got easily about four or five thousand troops under his command those are just the ones stationed here i don't want to know how many he can call back out from the field Can you just, like, like, just give him the wrong drink or something? I don't know. Can you two just keep it in your pants? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds like a really good compromise for the two of you. Roger. Thank you, Judge. All right. Now get the fuck out of here. Go meet with Raidmar in the hangar bay. He'll brief you on the rest of it and get you on a ship. Got it? Yeah. Excellent. And then as long as Chad doesn't have anything that they want to ask. Oh, oh, all right. In that case, uh, I, I do would I uh, would like to make a short thing about studying the the whole. Oh, my God, look at the conspiracy. Oh, I would like to study that shit behind her and see what that's all about. What's uh, what's going on there? What are Brunhilde's thoughts on Yandi? I know she shared that with us a little bit verbally, but are there any specific uh, points of interest on that psychopath map behind her yeah it's it's mostly just it's a half combination of trying to like trace yandi's past and it seems like she comes from a planet in the chernabog system but there's inconclusive evidence as to which planet and the chernabog system is not well documented in the first place it's very very backwater so a lot of uh a lot of gaps there and then she was couldn't find anything as far as like a teenage or adolescent uh life or anything like that so um she was really concerned about that you can see that there's nothing there and she says it's highly suspicious a couple theories of whether she had the information deleted or whether or not she was just that good at staying undercover um, inconclusive as far as that goes. Uh, and then the more recently, she has some notes about how long she's been running uh, the Prospero stream, um, how she took over from the last Bratva. And then there's just the theories of what Yond... Well, basically, like in big red letters, what's Yondi's next step? And... Uh, like she was saying to you, she has the whole theory of her wanting to expand her reach beyond the Prospero stream into nearby sectors. There's the concern that maybe uh, Yandi's family had like some fucked up background dealing with this factory. And maybe that's why she's like so emotionally and psychologically like stunted and so fucking cold. So she's just not sure what's up with this, but the only information she could ever reliably pick up is a connection between Yandi and this factory. So she wants that place combed. Unfortunately, there's just like not a lot of evidence for her to scrape up about anything because she's just so damn secretive. You. Sound good? Sounds good. All right, excellent. So, the uh, yeah, you guys would be sent off, and I'm sure you would head straight to the hangar, right? Well, Chad would. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. Are you call fucking in around? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna call in a to-go order for Hanzo's real quick. <laughs> and then just like it's right by the hangar, so I'll just pick it up on the way out. I bet it's not by the hangar at all, but I don't feel like pulling it's, up the map. 
It's <laughs> right by the hangar, so it's yeah, like just a, it's it's a like, short detour of 10 miles. It's a couple blocks away. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I think it says it takes like eight Snatching. fucking hours to walk around this bitch. So yeah. <laughs> Me when I tell my boss I'll be right back, knowing full damn well I'm leaving the mall to grab a burger. Yep. Just to go home. <laughs> Just, yeah. <laughs> I'll be Not right back. back in. Dude. That... <laughs> God damn it. All right. So let's see. Next off, we would have. I would say probably Jinx would be uh, the next best place to pick up. I imagine you do quite a bit of your work at uh, at Canyon Heavy. Um, there's just so many nice high end systems there. There's closed systems for you to do testing with like potentially infected uh, computers on. And there's also just like a lot of charging ports everywhere. And that's super nice. Um, nice. Do you see yourself living at the Canyon Heavy Market like some of these hackers do, or do you uh, do you have your own place separate from there? I think I definitely would have my own place separate from there. Okay, cool. Imagining with how much you've been making with Canyon Heavy, it's probably a pretty decent place. And actually, that makes me uh, that reminds me of bringing up an excellent point about uh, like the shit we're about to get into. So. I know, uh, and a lot of the times when we're playing Mothership, money isn't, like, a huge thing. You guys are mostly worried. Money is the thing that you guys use to, like, buy ammunition and stuff like that. Um, we've never even really been to the point where we've, like, worked towards paying off, like, a spaceship loan or anything like that. But in this sense, we're looking to not only keep these characters that we have right now alive, or hopefully any future characters afterwards, but you also probably want them to retire well uh so if that sense you guys are going to need to uh basically as the kids say get your money up so not your funny up <laughs> <laughs> all right we so can do both i'm looking at uh retirement costs here and just to give you guys an idea of like what your future is going to look like well besides maybe chad uh, for a million credits, you can afford to live on a fixed income on a cramped home world with a part-time job. With 10 million credits, you can uh, afford a second home on a nice core world, S-class vacation, some space travel here and there. Around 100 million credits, you're looking at the social elites with multiple homes, lives of luxury, private islands. Uh, at a billion credits, you're looking at shareholders, mega yachts, uh, seats on like investment boards and stuff like that. Um, you might have like the purchasing rights to like asteroids that are being mined. And then let's see, we have 10 billion credits. Uh, you have a sea level ancestral home, maybe your own space station. Like this is probably where Yandi's at, maybe a little bit above this. Uh, personal army. And then for 100 billion credits, <clears throat> We have, uh, like, literally back to nobility. You are an oligarch. Uh, you own, like, s companies in multiple sectors. You probably have your own planet, if not multiple. And then instead of an army, you would have, like, a personal armada that keeps you safe, <laughs> essentially. Oh, that sounds divine. Yeah, so regardless of... Um, like safety and everything like that, you guys are going to need to make some money if you ever want these characters to retire. Because I'm sure you guys don't want to finish the campaign and have me tell you that you're going to basically spend the rest of your character's life out on the fucking street or get sentenced to the choke because you couldn't pay your fucking O2 tax. Sound good? Yeah, sounds great. Cool. You. Just wanted to uh, bring some sense to uh, risking your guys's very very delicate lives all right so all squishy some of us are just squishier thankfully this wouldn't be any sort of surprise for jinx or anything um angus would stay in pretty decent communication with jinx most of the time you're one of the more reliable workers that he has so for the last month or so um this happens to angus every once in a while he'll find some bit uh, like some little nugget of information that basically gets like 
an itch up his ass and he won't stop thinking about it and, like obsessively stays up taking drugs to keep him awake researching and trying to like locate wherever this thing is and sometimes it's like complete nonsensical bullshit like an, a golden AK-47 sometimes it's a bit of like antique hardware like a, a copy of Windows 98 that's been that hasn't been fucking activated yet um, and sometimes it's like some real cutting edge shit like maybe misappropriating the plans for a new cutting edge warp drive that now you guys can sell but uh mm. you know it's taking too long to come to the market anyways plus they were going to overcharge fair valid <laughs> very valid so uh you've you've known that he's been on another one of these tangents for the last month or so and um he's been approaching you a lot about it basically being like hey have you ever heard about such and such and you know i've heard there's a lot of really cool shit in there um how would you react to this to basically being slowly poached for a job but not directly asked yet um i would just get the assignment done i feel like he's a man that like when he's ready to offer it to me he'll offer it to me there's no no reason to step on toes. The man thinks I'm reliable. I I don't need to overstep. Okay, that's fair. And yeah, eventually the the faithful day will come where you can see that he's getting some resources together. Uh, there's a part of there, there's a small like resources part of Canyon Heavy that deals with basically getting operators around. Um, and they are currently registering an AI piloted ship to get you um, out in the middle of what appears to be bumfuck nowhere. Oh. Um, so yeah, you you being just alert and probably a little snoopish, I imagine, uh, in the what? office. What? Yes, of course. Why the fuck did you have your computer monitor pointed at me? Jesus. What an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, you would you would have noticed this and not been surprised a couple days later when Angus finally approaches you and says that he's uh, it's, it's always the same. He's like, I got a job for you, kid. I'm excited. It's a uh, it's a big one. Like we're we're talking about the mother load here. All right. I'm listening. So I know I've talked to you about this place a couple of times. Cloud Bank, the old uh, the old Android factory. Mm -hmm. Now, I've gotten a few documents about the place, like mostly just like uh, building scans. But um, I've also been able to dig up some information about the prior owner operators. And this could be a uh, an absolute score for Canyon Heavy. I'm talking like getting us off the of Prospero and onto our own station type move here. OK. That's yeah. pretty hefty. Yeah, exactly. But listen, it's got a lot of risk involved, and I'm only confident sending my best out there. My expendable best. Fair. <laughs> See, either get it. the job done or come or don't come back. Yeah, yeah, I understand. That's the attitude. So, I've got a couple of favors with the other Bratva and I've got a, a little crew I've got assembled for you. Um, you can consider yourself team lead on this mission, but what you're going to do is basically go figure out. I want you to go scan the Android factory back in somewhere, dig up the files that you can. If you're able to try and get them sent off to me uh, or like try and radio them off to me. And I know it'll take a while, but It'll get here. And in the meantime, I want you to look through the place, see if there's any either antique or uh, very what's I would say cutting edge looking uh, tech, anything that looks alien or exotic to you, even if it turns out being just a fancy looking shell on something that we've already seen or used before. I still want it, and I might be able to pawn it off as something useful to the unsuspecting. But 
my instincts are telling me that there's some really good shit in here. And if we are able to, like, I, I would say just fill your pockets and then fill your pockets again, come home, and you're going to be set for life. Everyone here is. All right. Sounds like the sounds like that's a plan. Sweet. Yeah, he like claps his hands together all excited and shit. And uh, he's like, all right, so we've got the uh, the ship in the hangar bay waiting for you. It's it's pilotless, so don't worry about keeping anybody waiting. But the sooner, the better, you know? Yeah, <laughs> Jenks, Jenks will grab their their bag, a little purse. And be like, oh, I can get some rest along the way, and here's to early retirement. Yeah, it's going to be a long jump, so I'll uh, see you in a couple years, you know? Yeah. <laughs> All right, excellent. Do you have anything you want to do on the ship before you leave? Hmm. On the station, I mean. On the station, let me see. I already, I already have a decent amount of gear. And considering that I was in this meeting alone, I mean, granted, he said it. So since he said, since he said I was team lead, is there like who all else is coming from Canyon Heavy? Oh, it's not it's not Canyon Heavy people. I, uh, you know, we're a little short staffed. So Understood. like I said, I pulled some I pulled some favors with the other members of the Bratva and basically just asked them for their 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 expendable best. And uh, they agreed. So he'll uh, send you over a little dossier, essentially, with a quick bio on the rest of the party members. Probably just enough information that, like, whatever you heard in the intro about them. Oh, okay. I see an old friend and three new faces. This will be fun. Yeah, thankfully, uh, Cassidy's there, so that'll be... You, there's some at least someone reliable in your eyes there. Huh, early retirement. And I'm just going to read the files and keep it pushing. Cool. Uh, how did your character uh, feel about androids again? Um, considering that I have a sibling that's an android, I absolutely adore them. I think they're cool. Even with a the whole twin thing going on with your the, android the sibling? I think twin that's, replacement. I think that's great. I don't look at it like a replacement. I just look at it as a thing of, you know how they go, oh, if we're twins, we could just sit in class for each other. That's what I would think. If the android is just as tech savvy as I am and mama needs a break, who's going to notice? Probably the boss. But if he gets results, I don't think he'd complain. So did you build this fucking thing? And if I did. <laughs> or at least had it commissioned. Sometimes I get a little lonely. That's fucking, <laughs> that's fucking that crazy. Mean? I need sibling love, too. Well, I have three of them, and now that I think about it, yeah. But I only built one. All right. So, and then we have... <laughs> I, I'm trying not to... Uh, not trying to dig it into that. Yeah, what about your other siblings? I love them, too. I think they're great. And they support it. my drag. <laughs> <laughs> Tragic. They come to your shows, but, you know, they're not... They're not... They don't live this kind of life. One of them, two of them idolize me, so maybe they do. Yeah, but like the same way you idolize like a pilot or like an astronaut. Like, wow, that's super fucking cool, but I would never fucking do that. Fuck no. Oh, understood. Yeah, understood. It's <laughs> it's not for the weak wheel. Yeah, no, like absolutely not. <laughs> <Must be laughs> they, nice uh, they come to the Prospero, come see your shows. And then immediately leave, like, same day. Like, five hour, five hour stay. Don't blame them. <laughs> Do not blame them. Yeah, those are those are hard enough. Oh, God, it's like going to see concerts. Fuck. All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look, look at the files with my handy-dandy gadget here and just uh, keep it pushing. <laughs> All right, excellent. And Max and Luciano. So I'm imagining Let's that go, you guys... Dos amigos. Okay, so Max, you said that uh, what recently happened to your ship that has it out of commission right now? Yeah, it's it's impounded. It's impounded. It's not impounded here, is it? Um, I will leave that up to you. I would say probably not. 
Um, just because, like, if you're... Like, the, the Doc Master's a hard-ass for sure. Like, no one fucks with Leshy, but you don't... No one's gonna impound when a Reed Marsh. Got yeah, it. exactly. Especially if you're doing, like, smuggling runs for him, like, moving Psycho Racks and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, it's probably... Take care of his guys. It probably got impounded at a nearby sector, probably, like, a jump one kind of situation. So... Yeah, it, lately, the last couple of weeks, you've probably just been, like, loading ships and fixing shit, which just really sucks. Off. Yeah, that's fucking terrible. It's fucking mad. Why don't you give me a sanity save, actually? Those fucking jackasses. <laughs> this man's grounded. I don't even know who I work for. All right, sanity save. He's got that's blue wings. Save. All right, uh, that is a I hey, believe, excellent a critical success. Nice. So, Just like, I'm gonna get that shit back. I'm gonna get it back. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you it's like it seems like you've been able to make the best of it, which is pretty impressive because like it's probably been since you started flying. Um, it's probably been years, like maybe eight or ten years since you've had like a long lull. Oh wait, you're exceptionally young, aren't you? You're like in your lower 20s? He's, I think 25 is what I said. I actually, I think I made him younger. I think I made him 21. Okay, so I imagine um, you probably started piloting at like age 16, even if it wasn't like in a combative sense. Oh, younger, younger. I grew up on Orion, baby. We start that shit young. We don't live that long, so. So yeah, it's been, you probably haven't been grounded this long since you started flying, and that was at least 10 plus years ago, so oh, yeah. you probably feel almost like a, a weird sort of like land sickness, just being... Re restless. He's restless. Yeah, absolutely. I'm ready to get, get out of here. I'm All right. Get that shit back one way or another. Yeah, and you're kind of you're kind of dreaming about that when uh, Raidmar calls you over, and he's already grabbed uh, Luciano. And uh, he's like, look, I already explained it to uh, Genius over here, but um, I'm going to give you the rundown, too. Hey, Lou. Both of you are going on a job. And you're basically here oh. to make sure that the job doesn't go into the shitter. We've got a bunch of guys from a different members of the Bratva meeting up and heading out. Multiple interests need to be represented. And I need to make sure, or I need you to make sure that they get there and come back in one piece or at least bring their pieces back for a proper burial okay wait do we gotta work with brunhilde's guys yep not oh, not the yeah, not the executioners again don't worry about it this is some of her oh, okay. like middle of the night guys <laughs> nice all right well yeah what's the job I'm not really sure. Angus was pretty light on the details. Apparently, you guys are going to go looking for expensive computer shit in an old factory. And that's all I really know about it. How am I supposed to tell the difference between expensive computer shit and cheap computer shit? That's not your job. They've got a, a, they got a guy for Angus who's coming along, and he's, he's going to take care of it. Okay? Just make sure that Everyone who leaves comes back. That's all you got to do. Oh, and I uh, hate to tell you, but the only ship I got right now is the AI one. So, oh, come on, read more. He hands you this big ass like computer with like a small like or actually a really wide ribbon cable hanging out of it. Here's the coordinates. God, this is like giving Michelangelo a coloring book. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. All right, so True stay in the lines. Were your were your guys able to figure out like where they've got my ship impounded at? Yeah, but you don't you don't want to know about it, man. We'll we'll get it back. Maybe you got a pretty big jump ahead of you, so maybe by the time you come back, we'll have your ship waiting for you. Yeah. I'd rather be in debt to you than those guys, so. Yeah, it's less so debt and more so we own this now, and you're not getting it back, but we'll we'll see, because that shit was kind of expensive, and 
at least a third of the hardware in that ship came directly out of my hangar. So I have a, a little bit of vested interest in making sure it comes back. I'll, I'll get it back. I'll get it back. Don't worry. Hope so. Anyways, go ahead and get your shit packed on the ship. Uh, it's probably going to take about half an hour for those coordinates to get loaded up. And hopefully the rest of the crew will be here soon. Okay. All right, cool. Thanks, Reed Moore. As always. Yeah, and uh, oh, also, apparently Angus is expecting like a pretty profitable uh, pay cut out of this. So if you guys are thorough, as he puts it, you can expect quite a good chunk of change. I'm. Uh, what's up? Head loss, uh, less money. Say that again. Is each head loss less money? It's not so that the heads matter, but usually when you start losing heads, you lose all the shit they're carrying too. So unless you're going back for backpacks on corpses, I would suggest keeping everybody alive. Are we getting paid on commission for this? Like, yeah, I would say commission because if you come back with nothing, Angus might kill you. Okay. If you come back with something, so we're not, so, you'll be handsomely so we're not paid. Just there to make sure everybody comes back alive. I mean, if you feel like getting your hands dirty and looking for, like you said, trying to tell the difference between old and new computer shit, be my guest. Alrighty. Well, I guess wish us luck. Yeah, uh, I'm just hoping these coordinates are up to date. Me too. <laughs> Me too. You know, if I was the one flying the ship, you probably wouldn't have to worry about that. But You know, if you tried flying this ship, it would self-combust. Just letting you know. I mean, it's not that different than what I normally fly. It's one of those old corporate mail runners they started to use right after the war started. Oh, gross. Okay. Oh. So, yeah, you plug in these core, you use these coordinates on this computer, or when you try to jump, everyone in the local sector will know what you fucking did. That's depressing. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any other questions. Excellent, because uh, you're going to be out of time here soon. And right about there, there's basically the only people who aren't dressed in some sort of cargo pants and extra pouches come rolling into the uh, the hangar bay. Well, okay. actually, I guess Three Cassidy might have might have a few patches to match or pouches to match. That's nice. He's he's got some pouches. Is it, is it them? I guess it's the difference between, uh, like whatever that nylon BDU shit is and uh, denim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Chad, where, uh, where do you think these guys are that we're supposed to meet? Yeah, you know, Chad's just going to look at you and give you a shrug. All right. I'm just going to raise my hand. Hey, Reed Martin, the guy raising his hand, is that, is, is that the guy I'm supposed to? I'm assuming that? so, and Reed is going to wave you guys over, and um, nice. you can see his facial expression slowly change as uh, he, like, gives everybody in the crew a once-over. Um, instantly looks uh, pretty soured as soon as he sees Pad, and... Uh, as soon as you guys come over, he points an accusatory finger at them, actually. He says, hey, you, I don't want any stupid shit on this job, understand? Yeah, Chad's just going to ignore it. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, that totally isn't the start of all these fucking problems at all. No, all he's right. fine, he's fine. He's just a little cranky. He hasn't had his coffee yet. He's not eating. Yeah, so hopefully you guys come back with everybody. Maybe missing one or two wouldn't be the worst thing, but go make sure that that place is combed through. Whatever you guys are looking for, find it. Get the fuck out of there. Get back here. All right? Will do. Otherwise, you hear you guys are 
representing the Bratva, if you feel like uh, that might help you in some situations, mention it. Otherwise, that's usually not something I would go around flexing. Comes back to bite us in the ass a lot here. And so with that... What's up? Why, why would you tell us to do it if you don't want us to do it? Oh, because it works on piss ants, but anybody that's also a pusher is going to get real challenged by that. Ah, yeah. Maybe maybe don't let the other syndicates know that we're you know landing on a pile of ancient treasure. <clears throat> I'm thinking you're just going to find cobwebs and rust, but whatever Angus I would, says. I would hope okay. not. I don't have a lot of faith. I, this is not the first of Angus's little treasure hunts I've seen him send people off on. I'm sure it won't be the last either. I'm just hoping this Fair. one actually has something worth selling. I mean, I mean early what? retirement for everyone wants, sounds right? quite nice if we do the job right. You're not the first kid I've heard say that. Optimistic, aren't we? Absolutely. It's my job. All right. And then with that, he's going to excuse himself and start parking orders at somebody who thought that they could take a smoke break. <laughs> hey, hey, you, you don't get another fiver till like, like 2 p.m., okay? Smoking right by the fucking fuel. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's not what he's mad about. <laughs> God damn it. All right, so yeah. you guys are free to get your asses up on the ship and... Mm -hmm. uh, it is a very unimpressive vessel. It is basically just a like an old rocket booster that got some slightly updated guts molded into it. You guys are going to have basically there's like five, six captain's chairs in the front uh, in the captain's quarters. That you guys can sit on with your terminals. And then there is the utilities where you can get a shower and use the bathroom and stuff like that. And then you have your cryopods. And that's it. That's the whole Max is just like that's a whole ship. Brushing his hand over where the controls to a ship would be if it wasn't you know <laughs> this kind of ship. Yeah, no, there's just a screen and then the port for <laughs> the computer terminal. <laughs> Look at look at this shit, Lou. This is fucking disgraceful. Yeah, I'm gonna go set up my hammock. Oh my god. You're gonna go set up your hammock? You know you've got a what long ass jump, names? right? Yeah, I know, but I'm gonna be feel like now. Assuming... Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming Max and Lou haven't met any of the party yet, so no. Oh probably not. No, you've probably never even seen these guys before. Hey um Yeah. What are your guys' names? Oh well, I, I'm Cassidy. Um, I'm I'm working with uh with Chad over here. Um, the Chad wave. Yeah, Brunhilda, Brunhilda sent us. Um, we're the security for the team. Yeah. Hey Chad, you know the air in here is breathable. You don't need that mask, right? Yeah, Chad's gonna nod to you. Dude, he's All right, just checking. <laughs> James, good to see you again. Nice to see you as well, Cassidy. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've seen you at the show, and been a minute since we've actually worked together. Oh, I know. Oh, I haven't been able to go to the shows because I've been working. You guys yeah. trying to kill each other? No, of course no. Cassidy and I go way back. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a long time. It's been a hot minute, but um, so it, your security. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, the the best expendable is what I was told. I was told <laughs> I was told the same thing. I will be going over uh, all the artifacts and stuff, basically looking at uh, all the computer stuff. I'm very much into tech outside of, you know, makeup and performing. Oh, yeah, you're the king and heavy representative, yeah. That is true. That, That's yep. right. You got to be doing all of, all of the stuff that nobody else can pronounce that talking with wire shit yeah 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 but um oh gentlemen if uh if you ever get injured or anything like that feel free to ask for assistance i'm also good when it comes to pharmaceuticals and drugs and such you save me yeah chad's just I gonna shot cock ahead chest. at that i'm also yeah. great with computers too it's true 
Sometimes right, it's so the same thing. Now you have Chad's Jinx, interest. There you Chad, go. <laughs> Cassidy. Yeah. All right. And you are? Max. 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 I'm a pilot, but... Uh, yeah, we would have known AI that was that shit out of the uh, job site, so I guess I'm just an extra gun. <laughs> oh. Well. You do have a gun, right? Yeah. Okay. Just a couple. Just he, he brought the... Any Max smart brought manch. the super shoddy, too. <laughs> God what? damn it, I forgot about that. Well, it's a super shorty, by the way. Fucking <laughs> nah, it's the super it's the super shoddy, dude. It's too late, <laughs> the damage <laughs> been done. That's Morning what Max Star calls versus it. Versus Morningstar. Oh my god. <laughs> While we may this not is... be using your piloting skills today, who knows? Maybe in the future. Um we, I hope we could... to God. I hope to God sometime in the future. It would be an honor to have you fly. This is Lou. He's an asshole, but uh... <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, grab some smoke. But what? Lady. There's supposed to be something nice after the butt. <laughs> I don't know if there's, a, you know, he's he's. Uh, I'm just gonna leave before he can finish. <laughs> uh, oh well, <laughs> he's gonna what? This is Lou. So he's... he's an asshole. Lou just leaves. <laughs> yeah. stage, right. I'm uh, just gonna. Well, I'm gonna nod and wave at all of you guys, and I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go Lou, buy a shit on, ton of social. smokes. Well, it was nice to meet you. Lou, come on, say hi to him. We're gonna be stuck in a ship with him for the next couple months. We'll be sleeping most of it anyways. I can say hi when we get... Yeah. I, I waved at them. That I mean, I said hi. Is talking Wait. about us in front of us? Yeah. <laughs> I think, leave that in. Leave that in, that's hey, great. If I, if I give you some credits, will you go get me some smokes, too? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Lou, gonna, hey, I'm Lou, if you're going out anyway... Credits. Can you pick up some? Oh my god! This is, you pick up this is not enough Marty's. to get smokes, dude. Oh well, then just like I just need like two. It's that guy that gives you fifty uh, cents and he says, "Hey, can I bum a cigarette?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm asking for two cigarettes. Though. <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah, okay. Yo, Lou, Lou, can you do me a huge favor if you're going out anyway? Can you grab a couple, couple, uh, couple packs of MREs? Just it's yeah, okay. not yeah, a bad okay. idea. Yeah, I'm gonna. Wait, I'm gonna what I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Lou smokes. Um, hold on. What's your smoke? It's orange smokes like fifty credits a pack. No, you just go to the vending machine right around the dock, and they got laughing skulls for like six credits. I'm gonna give Lou two hundred and eighty credits. I don't believe that. Give four packs of MREs. It's free when you power cycle the vending machine. Yeah, who's that <laughs> jackass that keeps eating the cigarettes out of it anyway? <laughs> eating them. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go. Lou, Lou me remember, some more. four packs. I'm gonna go. Sm <laughs> can I go smuggle some MREs from somewhere <laughs> He's around such the bay? An Aaron boy already. Oh He's my god. Oh, we gotta love Lou. I mean, yeah. There's, there's a. This is, this is the hangar bay. There's nothing but supplies and crates and crates yeah, and I just supplies wanna, here. I just want to get a bunch of MREs and. Um, and then I want to go find one of the, the closest uh, vending machine that we use to get our smokes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the little trick that I always do where if I, um, if I kick it in the right spot, it gives me an extra two packs. Do you have a uh, mechanical repair as a skill or jury rigging? Got smuggling. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost the same thing. Um, <laughs> I'll let it fly this time. Yeah, that's fine. So nice. yeah, whatever whatever you're gonna spend as far as that's worth, and then the the two extras. Cool. Uh, how many MREs can I s salvage from this hangar bay? <laughs> good save, good save. How many credits did you uh give me? Christian? I gave you two hundred and eighty credits. That's enough for four packs. Four packs of seven. You can find ten MREs. Cool. That's not. Uh... And I didn't even have to pay for them. Lou, I gave you enough for... You're not there. Yeah, when you come back with 10 instead of 28, Max uh, is going to be I'm going to go find some more somewhere else. Are you? I can, yeah. I'm going on a little adventure. Um, how much How much are smokes again? Bro's on his side. 25 a pack. His best friend oh, ever. okay. 25 a pack. Um, I'm going to buy... Fuck. I'll buy an X amount, and then I will let you know how much I buy. Brilliant. How about you give me a smuggling roll? Let's see how well you can feed your way through this building without getting caught. 
Oh, oh Lord. Lord. Session one. Go I'll give you advantage tail. because it's home turf. 99. That's fucked, sir. <laughs> Reedmar kind of expects you to steal from him a little bit, okay? He wouldn't respect you if he didn't. Absolutely. Um, ex he would expect him to steal, yes. That last sentence, I'm not sure if I agree with. Uh, <laughs> Just a little bit. Like, yeah. like little stuff. It's like how, like, you know, you steal a couple antenna off of the other platoons. <laughs> yeah, vehicles. little cute things, like my fucking That's pen. <laughs> oh. Anyways. That was personal. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you're um, you're looking for a Marie cigarettes and anything else? Um, uh, let's see. I'm going to pick up a random like worker's helmet, put it on, <laughs> grab a clipboard, and I'm gonna try and see if I can uh, wheel out a. Uh, a... Bros doing the clipboard <laughs> trick. <laughs> yeah, no, that that works brilliantly. Um, you're smart. able to get one of those huge ass uh, O2 tanks they would use in like a hospital. Uh, what a fucking animal. I would say it would probably count as like 10 O2 tanks. Sweet. I'm not sure how you want to add that to your character sheet, but. Dude, that's not little that. stuff. You're supposed to steal little stuff. Hey, if it's jamming, on a hand cart, my it's dude little. Jamming, big game. <laughs> it's worth All right, and then I'm, I'm, I'm coming back with uh, eight packs of cigarettes. <coughs> Oh, plus the two that I finessed. Yep. Excellent. Um, how many MREs did I manage to uh, smuggle additionally? Um, I would say add another 10. And and then I will buy... Oh, he's going to buy eight. something. I'll buy eight more. <laughs> Bro's a hustler, dude. More like a thief, but yes. Dude, I can't even, I can't even be mad, dude, that he's a businessman. <laughs> This dude's Office getting his money food. and his food up. Yeah. This man. Get this fucking bread. Yeah. All right. Except so. the bread and the MREs is horrible because it's like hard tech. It's <laughs> amazing. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Obviously, you've never eaten an MRE. The no, I have. MRE I'm just assuming the, the shit on the Prospero part. is fucking horrible. You nah, ever man, eaten food good. in space jail? <laughs> Dude, the Damn it! I left my yogurt tank. at work that again. Hardtack is good. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's in the work fridge. I, you said. You said. Uh, yeah, sure, Marco. Hardtack <laughs> is good if you can make it softer. If you're yeah, that's pirate. what your saliva's for, bro. You've got weevils <laughs> in there already for the extra protein. Listen, if your mouth isn't moist enough to be able to handle hardtack, I don't know what. It's literally called hardtack. Shut up. And that's Get why moist. you put. Yeah, exactly. You just. All right. Anyways, back in my day, we <laughs> ate hardtack. Um, we weren't soft like this new generation that needs to soak their hardtack in milk or something <laughs> so they can fucking eat it. All right. Anyway, um, back in my day, we broke you... off a piece with a with a hammer and we gnawed on it. Kill him! <laughs> Kill him outright! <laughs> so I pull out my gun. Are you done? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh Brilliant. my god! I'm not a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone, Doug. Just a headass. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, That's I am a headass. Social splat. It's not a, so we don't have those. Alright, so after you guys have gotten your supplies and everything and you make yourselves somewhat cozy uh, aboard the ship, um, basically, once you get the. The coordinates uploaded to the computer terminal it's basically just a matter of pressing launch and then it'll self-start take itself out to a minute or a safe space to a warp and then uh it's pretty much smooth sailing from there um, somebody else press the fucking launch button i can't I'm, dibs i'm getting in my i'm getting in my pot i can't do this shit it is a very not satisfying click sound almost a crunch oh. from the button oh Oh wait, did you did you like slap that shit? Uh you broke the plastic housing on it. It's not mine, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Cassidy, this shit is made of plastic. This isn't my fucking shit, this is Raymark's problem. That's fair. Alright. I'm so I'm gonna jump in my cryo with my Hanzos so I have something to eat when I wake up. Oh my god. It's not That's gonna, not gonna thaw. be good. It's gonna be so bad. No, it's fine. I've done this before. It's fine. 
If I eat it yes. real fast before I get my scent to taste back, then it's just calories. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta suck on the noodles while they're hard until they soften. You know, it's not uh, really gonna make much of a difference. We'll it looks like I'll be pumping life. someone's as stomach as day one on the job. Probably. <laughs> yeah, like all right. times. So, does anybody else have any pre cryo rituals they want to take care of real fast? Uh, Max is going to do what he usually does when he's on a long jump and set the cryopod to wake him back up at regular intervals during the flight to make sure the ship's still doing fine. Eventually, it's he's going to realize that it's eventually he's going to realize that it's AI and that it and there's nothing he could do even if something is going wrong. <laughs> so he's going to stop like halfway through the flight and just be like, "Oh, yeah, right, it's AI." Fuck. Excellent. I'm going to give but, you, you know, um, I, I'm going to give you a disadvantage on your body save whenever you go to wake up out of cryo for the last time because of the, the constant sleep uh, and going under, waking back up. But um, <clears throat> I, I like that a lot. That's good characterization. Excellent. Anyone else? Or are we good to go? Yeah, Chad's just it? going to uh, visit the head, like pretending to go into the, to the restroom <laughs> and wait for eventually everyone else to go into their cryopods. So Mac, uh, Chad is going to take their sweet time to make sure most of the organics are actually asleep in their pods, and then just plug into a wall and wait. Yeah, I don't set a wake up timer on my pod. I'm just hoping somebody oh, turns dude, it on. I, like if if Max is doing the fucking like every so often waking up, he's definitely going to see you plugged into the wall. You would wake up in your cryopod when it sets you to Yeah, he sets it to, like, he, he sets it to wake him up every couple like months or something just so he can oh. make sure that the shit Years. is still. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna be it's shit on. I'm gonna FaceTime my siblings to let them know I'm gonna be gone for a while. Yeah, um, that's, can that's, I wait that's, a that's few days before going to cryo? I don't I like to uh I like to um enjoy the ride a little bit before uh going down under. You can that's what the I was like, you could stay up for, for probably about a day or two, but as soon as the computer lets you know <laughs> that you're going to be heading into uh, hyperspace, then you yeah. need to go to sleep. There is so... It's not even hearsay. There's just so much evidence that human beings have basically a, a full mental breakdown when exposed to traveling through hyperspace for too long. It's oh, not, sweet. Okay. Yeah, it's not. It, yeah, the cryo isn't really for you know keeping you guys nice and young on your way to your next job. Corporate could give a fuck. You know, just have yeah. your babies there. We'll make them work. Um, it's more so to oh. keep you sane on your way over there because we trained okay, cool. you and yeah, installing software and need to get those skills out of you is unreliable and expensive. Uh, Do short okay, exposures right. make you crazy, or is it just any amount of time? Um, even short exposure is pretty rough. You might be used to it. And like you said, you're going to get up for like literally five minutes, check on it, probably piss and retch a little bit and then go back to sleep. So yeah, I'm Max just he knows not to look out the window. It's like, yeah, don't look out the window or you'll see, you know, the fucking black the heart of eternity staring back at you. And the the Leviathan. Life, so. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's oh, wild. Fuck the Leviathan. Yeah, whenever there, Max okay, wakes cool. up. Max wakes up, he'll be able to, like, see Chad uh, by the wall. As soon as that whatever tube you get into, like, hisses open, he'll uh, unplug and then just kind of stand and wave at you. Oh, Chad, you're up. Um, you're probably going to want to get back to your pod. Like, I, I don't stare out the window, whatever you do. I gotta okay, Chad's just going to give you, like, a vigorous sure nod. Like, of course not. I'm gonna go check the thrusters, make sure we're putting out enough delta V to get us where we need to go, and then I'm getting right back in. I'm just imagining Chad animated like an old red versus blue video where it's literally just the game <laughs> animation of looking oh, up and down. <laughs> fucking love Ch Chad. Chad is Lopez. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. I fucking love that show, dude. Oh shit. Let's not go down I'm, this fucking I'm, rabbit hole. Oh my yeah. god. Yep, nope. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say I'm Tucker. The I'm pod. probably actually Griff. Alright, so some eight years later, we're going to arrive in the sector of space that uh Angus had or Angus had given Raidmar to give to you guys. So hopefully it's good. 
eventually your cryopods will give you the wake-up alarm and you'll hear the super satisfying hiss and uh like that very kind of down with all the fog rolling on the ground i need everyone to make well besides chad to make me a body save i need max to make it at disadvantage to avoid cryo sickness yeah. Is this a rest save? No, uh, you'll just, oh. it's a body save. <clears throat> so, do we just click on it, question mark? Yeah, just click on your body stat. Uh -huh. or, and then it should prompt you to roll. Uh, yeah, I failed. Not possible to pass. Oh, somebody. Nope. Oh, everybody's fucking sick. Wow. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Jeez. Yeah, so thankfully all of you guys, it's already applied the point of stress to you guys, but all of you are going to wake up a little bit freezer burnt. Um, <laughs> all of you are suffering some pretty severe nausea, and there's only one head here. Chad's probably in it by the time you guys wake up, so you'll be throwing up on the floor. Um, Chad, Chad, get shit. out of the head. Chad, I'm serious. <laughs> as as it, soon as I watch. Is it locked? I what? imagine Chad would lock door? the door behind them. Yes. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you'll you'll Chad you'll hear you'll door. hear a click. I'm, you'll hear I'm, a click. I'm, as soon as boom 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 boom, you'll hear it, a yeah. click and the door's gonna open up. <laughs> Chad's yeah. already in like full full attire, like ready to, ready to go. Mission like mission mission is go, and so they're not prepared for you rushing in to puke into the toilet. Max almost makes it to the toilet. <laughs> almost. Almost. <laughs> All right, so in the middle of you guys puking your guts up and trying to clean yourselves up and everything, I'd say probably like while you're still in the middle of retching, the ship starts getting hailed, and um, it is a very vigorous uh, incoming call. Like, you know, every once in a while how your phone would just ring like excessively fast or nonstop? That sort of hailing signal. I will answer it. <laughs> Okay, brilliant. Give me just a moment. I want to bring you guys over to the next part of the map here. Get out of the Prospero's mm. dream. Immediately after retching, I'm going to shovel in my Hanzos. Oh, oh dude. I need that something Hanzo's in my stomach. Like eight years old. I should make you roll again. No, that Hanzos is like 10 minutes old. You're fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I need something in my belly, man. I can't just have it be empty. All right, excellent. So, um, which one of you is answering again? Sorry. That would be Jinx. Chad Brilliant. will come up behind Jinx to uh, follow Jinx into the bridge. I'm getting in my Max hammock. Is, like behind Chad trying to listen in. I want a hammock. That's a good idea. Let me check. This is the Shang C4. What are you doing in this territory? Shit. Shit, why did I answer? All right, um, we are looking for artifacts for science and knowledge. <laughs> we, don't, we don't entertain artifact hunters at the deep anymore. Oh, well, that's uh, that's unfortunate. That's, uh, that's crazy. Jeez, that's who are those guys? Yeah, who, who, are, who are you? We're in charge of the blockade here. Why is there a blockade? I'm gonna wipe my this. face. I'm gonna run up. Hey man, uh, we gotta. We're working for the Brockba. We gotta get through here, dude. The Brockba. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. Cassidy, I can't fly us out of here if you fuck up. I'm not gonna fuck up. Shut up. Just wipe your face off. We still got some chunks. Look, the commander just got a hold of us. We need you to dock and come aboard our ship and talk. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Leave any and all arms aboard your ship. Sorry. Congrats. We're, we're getting arrested. Thanks. Good job. We're not getting arrested. Every Shut time up. they tell you, dock at our ship, it's going to be fine. Leave your weapons on board. We're, we're getting, arrested. getting arrested. I think. We're getting arrested. We're not getting arrested. All right, I, you guys I leave might the axe. be getting arrested. We're getting uh, arrested. I leave the axe in the cryo tank. 
What's left of the right. Hanzo's in the tank? I definitely Max is still have the pistol. Super shoddy, but he's gonna like do his utmost to conceal the uh, service pistol on his person. Uh, okay, all right. I mean, it's a, it's it's a pretty decent, pretty decently compact weapon. So the Zhangzi is going to basically upload coordinates to your guys' ship. That's going to redirect it to board with them. And, uh... I hope they don't have a metal detector. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, as soon as you guys dock and the, uh, everything pressurizes, the door is open. Um, about five or six, like, heavily armed. They all, actually, they all lot look like chads, honestly. Uh, we're getting oh. arrested. Yeah, like five or six guys rush onto the ship with firearms pointed at you, and they're screaming the whole down on the ground. Yeah, yeah. And the chat's just gonna slowly raise both hands, put them behind the head, go Max into a kneeling been position. A times. He's he's done this before. Like, yeah, I know the drill. Down to a kneeling position, and once they say, "Fuck it on the ground," then lower down. <laughs> Cool. So eventually, assuming all of you guys comply, they're going to uh, do a quick little ransack of the ship. Or not a ransack. They're not going to take anything, but a raid, just examining everything. Thankfully, it's a pretty small ship, and there's not a lot to find here. So um, after a few moments, you hear one of them radio uh, up to command and give the all clear signal. And um, after that, they'll look down to you guys and... Uh, you can't see his, you can't see their face or anything, but this basically this mask with a voice is just going to tell you that the uh, commander's going to be down here soon to uh, give you a quick orientation of how things work around here. I suggest you show her the utmost respect. Got it. Well, this is different. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I've been arrested a couple times. I've never had to go see the commander before, so. Yeah, I just woke up. Is it okay if I smoke? <laughs> um, give me a sec. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you got cigarettes? And then one of the soldiers is going to lean down and, like, frisk you and try and... He's going to take the first pack he finds on you. Damn. Yes. You, we can... Can I have one, please? Oh. Um, you can have... You can I'll tell you what. Pack. I just want. I'll one. tell you what. If Kilroy doesn't shoot you in the back of the head, I'll give you one of your cigarettes back. Yeah. Great. Kilroy's gonna shoot us in the back of the head. And, and you can. Get... Shot. Who's Kilroy? And then you hear like the the fucking boot steps down the hall. Nice. Oh, <laughs> uh, not like he's the right, principal he's right key behind jingle. Me, isn't he? Well, yeah, the principal key jingle, but tactical pouches jangling with bullets in them. You know. Oh, for um, joy. He's right behind Bro, me. He's just loose bullets in his <laughs> cargo pocket. I'm scared of this guy. <laughs> Ooh, did I? Oh, I didn't I didn't have the time to get their, their art ready. But you're going to have um, a rather sizable, and this one's not super heavily armed and armored, but the arms and armor that they have are, like, bleeding edge tech. She's covered in, like, Little red neon or r little red LED lights everywhere. She could base. She looks like a cyber assassin, essentially. Oh, but, that's impressive. Um, hot. I mean, the armor's hot. Sure, it's form oh, fitting. Cool. Oh, that's all I need to know. <laughs> I now I have an idea for the next drag gig I do. <laughs> nice. Um, so anyway, she's gonna step into the room, and uh, she gives a quick look around. And you hear just a just a very loud hmm. Artifact hunters, huh? Which one of you's in charge? I'm gonna point uh, over to Max. Just gonna look at. <laughs> oh, I was gonna Max point at Jinx. Just gonna point at Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> Max is pointing at Jinx. I <laughs> will. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I mean, will acknowledge. She's the one that answered. So she sighs. You, answered. you can see her roll her eyes under her fucking helmet. And then she picks up her rifle and charges it. I'm going to ask you one more time. And if all of I'm... you don't point at the right person, bullets are going to fly. Who's in charge of you? That would be me. 
Thank you. Pointing at Jinx. Yeah, I'm gonna point at Jinx now. I'm gonna wait for everybody else to point, and then I'm gonna point. I would have said it if I didn't realize we were pointing. <laughs> They're gonna go through the process of uh, taking their mag out, discharging the round, putting it back in. They don't. You don't uh, carry one in the chamber on a space station. It's bad enough carrying a a, a gun on a station, but. Hey, hey Max, are we not supposed to carry one in the chamber of the space on the um on the ship? Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm taking my hands by him. I, Max still got his hands behind his head, but uh, I'm I'm sure you are, unless you want to get shot. Oh yeah, I don't. Want to I want my cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a fucking phone call in jail, okay? You don't just get a cigarette. <laughs> you owe it was me my one cigarettes. cigarette. My one cigarette, damn it! I'm allowed ten minutes of smoking time. God damn. Oh, oh God. I just woke up. I didn't even get to smoke yet. What the fuck, Richard? Oh, he got issues. <laughs> I got my Hanzos, though, so I uh, get fucked. She's going to tap the side of her helmet, and it kind of, like, retracts into itself so that the the nose down and face is revealed for a bit more of a human conversation, and she's going to tell Jinx to stand up. We have a somewhat oh. civilized conversation, hopefully. Yeah, of course. Already. And... I would stand up. What were you told about this place? Um, honestly, not too much. We were just told that there was a chance for us to all have an early retirement and to uh, bring back anything of value in total and complete honesty. Jesus Christ. Who sent you? Uh, I would, Ang Angus. Hmm. That explains it. You know, Angus is a really smart guy. He knows a lot of things. And anything he doesn't know, he can get his hands on. But the fact that that mastermind sent you off to a place that he doesn't know shit about, isn't that a little concerning? It is. However, I have never turned down the opportunity to learn. And I, I know it may be a risk, but it's it's a fair chance. It sounds like you know way more about this place than we do. So if there's anything you would be willing, it seems like there's a lot of caution going on here. Is there something that we don't know about? I'm in the middle of my third tour out here. I'll make it 10 years served by the end of it, 12. I can't tell you how many dozens of bright-headed idiots like you I've had to bury in space out here. Hmm. So many people thinking that there's an early retirement or some long lost treasure in here. That's not that's this this isn't this isn't some type of of pirate fantasy where you can just go find the X and suddenly your your bills are paid for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. This place was abandoned for a reason and it needs to stay that way. Well, oh, they weren't us. I was about to say, well, I'm not going to say they weren't us, but it, it's kind of the situation where, like, if we if we do well and we go out there and die, we're dead. And if we come back empty handed, we're dead. So at least let us it sounds like we're fucked either way. At least let us go in and do what we came to do. Unless you want to talk to abandoned. Look at that. How much did they promise you? Um. Uh, <laughs> they, enough for retirement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Didn't even get a hard number. Fuck. I didn't ask. Did anybody ask no, questions? No. Exactly. Did. Exactly. <laughs> they say you could retire. And then the DM went into the tears of retirement. And I heard I could go on vacation. I want to go on a vacation. <laughs> Really, because I heard you pike up at, at about the, the, the local, the private army or the private fleet thing is when I heard you get most excited. I did, but I was excited at the one billion mark where it was like, oh, yeah, you could go and have a vacation. I don't necessarily want a personal armada, though the Monroe armada sounds kind of cold. I just, uh, I was just told we had enough for, uh, for retirement. This is strictly a job for me. I'm not 
a pirate or at least not like the other pirates i was just told hey if you do this right there's a chance for promotion and you can do better in your life and who doesn't want that yeah everybody oh. wants to do better for themselves that's why i've decided to strand myself out here in the middle of fucking nowhere for the better part of a decade and you can see she just has like this absolutely bitter fucking scowl across her mouth right now Look, it's oh. obvious, and it, this it goes from like a, a scowl of like irritation to like something softer, almost resembling, I, I would say, pity, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, at least what this hard ass can muster up is pity. And she's like, "Look, it's obvious you've been misled, and you don't know what's going on out here. I don't even know. I've been out here for ten years, and I don't know the full breadth of what's going out here, but." It's not it's not a fantasy place for getting treasure. There are some real fucking nightmares in there. I've seen people that have suffered fates far worse than death in there. Care to indulge us? Men leave the room. And uh I have a cigarette, please. <laughs> Lou, please chill. Please. He's not gonna stop asking. To when uh, when the, when the men start to leave the room, I'm assuming they might stop when Luciano asks for a cigarette. But when they start to leave the room, uh, Chad will speak up and uh, turn around to the commander. Can we can we get up now? Is that all right? That's fine. I'll keep your backs against the wall. Okay. And no, you can't have a can fucking I, cigarette. I'm not letting you stink up my ship. Can I ask a question? Any, honestly, now is the perfect time for questions. As much as I fucking hate them. Who, who are you guys? I just, I just want to know how fucked we are. We're the troubleshooters. And you are plenty fucked. That's a cool name. Does Max know who the troubleshooters are? Rimwise. Um. Rimwise. Do you have Rimwise as a skill? I do. I do. Then uh, yes. If you guys have whoever has Rimwise as a skill probably would know who the troubleshooters are. Uh, They're basically use, like Hey, what's up? Can I use smuggling uh, as well? Uh yeah, I I would say that's good. Um well Shit, do you have Rimwise and not smuggling? Uh, I picked up athletics instead of rimwise for the preemptory, but I feel like smuggling should count for most things. I feel like you would only, yeah, you would know them in the sense of like in like law enforcement, like the the well, way yeah, like should I watch out for them? Yeah, yeah, no, the these guys are like very like cyberpunk level, um, just kill you and ask question or ask questions to bystanders later, type guys. It's max tech. It's max tech. Yep. They are. Uh, very reputable and very fucking expensive to purchase but they get results so what did you what did max want to ask you asked for who they were that's right yeah yeah okay did anybody else have any questions you wanted to ask here before we go into before basically before i start talking for another three minutes straight i just want to know about the nightmares and why they seem so cautious because it'd be one thing if they were protecting something themselves, but if people are misinformed, I don't see how it hinders them in any way, shape, or form. Cassidy, what did you want to ask her? Yeah, so, like, you were we'll just get, talking We'll about, get back to that. You were just saying, like, it was shut down for a reason, but why was it shut down? Okay, so that's the same question, and then... Yeah. Uh... Fuck, what's your name? Chad. There we go. Damn. Yeah, so I'm curious, Commander. You say that there's a horrible nightmares down there. Uh, I'm assuming you the blockade is to keep people out. We were sent here uh, as basically expendable forces. Maybe we can scratch each other's backs. I'm sure you don't want your men going down into horrors and dying down there. We're strangers to you. Why not send us down there? We have our own goals. I'm sure you might have some of your own. There's certain things on that station that I want to make sure don't leave this sector ever. 
that's that's my concern you artifact hunters could take something off of that ship and spread problems into oblivion you have a full blockade commander i'm sure you can control whatever we take whether that's going to be controlled or not we can always leave certain things behind you could also so tell like us what to avoid some of us The station, it's, the station itself is to what's be avoided. There's, you, you can see she's having like a, a little bit of like a, like she's in the middle of making like a, a, a fear save basically. I actually want to see how well she would do. Oh Ooh. Lord. Give Pretty her well. drugs. Okay. Okay. Yeah. She takes a moment. She's like, there's, there's things on that ship. There's uh, leftovers from previous projects on there that drive people insane sometimes and really? i've i don't i don't want anything spreading i don't want anything getting out of hand i don't want anything slipping out from my grasp and having made a waste of the last 10 years of service here it is my personal mission to make sure that this sector stays locked down until someone else realizes how important this shit is and takes my post well, well. No. I'm just... Oh, I'm go sorry. Ahead. Go no, ahead. you're... Go ahead. You know, I'm sure they'll realize how important it is if somebody comes back from there and tells everyone what's going on, and maybe you can get some more eyes looking at this place, but if you just uh, sit here and stop people from going in, uh, no one's going to give a shit about this station, so... You were, tre you were treading very closely to saying she's not doing shit. I liked how you avoided that. <laughs> okay. What were you going to say? Uh, surely, as someone who's experienced those horrors, you came back. So, I mean, perhaps if we were given the chance to do the same, as, as Max said, we can get back to the bravada and let people become more aware of it. I feel like a lot of people don't know. Mostly because most of them have died, but eh, yada 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 yeah. Uh, Chad, you said you have linguistics, right? Yes. Uh, I'm assuming you're paying attention to Kilroy when she's uh, speaking and being spoken to, which is as a threat here. Whenever yeah, I have uh, linguistics and psychology. Whenever Jigs mentions that thing about how you survived and you came back, you see her mouth to herself real fast. Um, she said like silently mouths to herself i hope i came back and uh she lets jinx finish their sentence and then she'll follow up look it's obvious that i'm either gonna have to kill you here or kill you later so we might as well make it later you're going artifact hunting you said you have any idea what kind of artifacts you're looking for are you just gonna grab the first thing that beeps at you and then assume it's a payday no i definitely have it surely madam you can see that i'm more prepared than that i don't very... fucking call me madam sir or kilroy that's it okay kilroy my point is <laughs> i am very trained and good at what i do i'm not just we're not just going in there willy-nilly just grabbing everything i want to thoroughly look over what is there and i from your concern, I am okay with leaving some stuff behind. I don't want to, you know, give you a heart attack or anything like that. I just want to look at some stuff. If it interests my box, I'll, I'll take it. But I don't want to grab everything. Look, I'll let you on board. But there's a couple of conditions, okay? Yeah. And it's Listen. either it's either a full agreement or we send you on your way now. I'm first listening. things first, anything that you grab on that station is going to be ran through me, my eyes, my hands. And if there's anything that I don't want taken off that ship, you are going to hand it over immediately. And if I'm feeling nice, I might pay you something amicable for it. Okay. Understood. Second thing, I got some work that I need done for done in there that I don't want to lose any more men to. It's been enough. I'm going to give you some supplies and trade because you guys are going to be, I don't know if you've noticed this, but 
the, you guys can probably haven't been able to pay much attention just with how fast the whole thing with the troubleshooters happened, but the space station is absolutely fucking gargantuan. It is like Prospero size times two. Um, yeah, it's like the Prospero as far as living quarters plus a fucking factory built onto it. It is absolutely gargantuan. Let me, uh, I mean, this is a really bad uh, photo for scale, but it is absolutely gargantuan. It can take days or weeks to comb through it like you're wanting to. I'll set you up with some food and I'll set you up with, I guess what you could call a local expert of the place. Some grifters that were here when I showed up, but I didn't have the heart to kick off. So we'll get you familiar with Arcady. We'll get you down to the bell and then we'll go from there. Understood? Yeah. yeah. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you for Here your you crystal, sir. And with that, she's going to step off the ship and. Um, oh, hey, Kilroy, wait, real quick. <clears throat> Can I have my shotgun back? I guess. And uh, she'll send her men back in to uh, give you guys whatever they stole from you. You get just the one cigarette back, not the pack. That's fine. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm glad you didn't protest. <laughs> I got more. It, I mean, it would have been nice to keep that one, but I got more. All right, excellent. So before we move on too terribly much, I want to take our 10-minute break before uh, we go into like the next chunk of this is there anything you like any thoughts or any questions you guys had um, oh yeah for the uh, dm what, yes but what does max know about the troubleshooters i'm sorry uh let's see give me a sec with the uh, rim wise like specifically what like read mar slash the brata's relationship with them is too let's see they are a Martian based section of the oh here we go yes they are a they are not mercenaries I misspoke earlier they are these are marines um Oorah. yeah like this, this is a this is a proper navy here not not just like some collection of not not hunters pretenders but actual proper rank and file soldiers here but yeah they are they're they're basically just a an exceptionally elite military force that is used for the most desperate backwater wet work conditions you could imagine. Um, if there's something impossible you need done, you send a couple of troubleshooters at it. I mean, the okay, name so speaks for itself, good. really. It's a great sign. Yeah. Um, what's the Bratva's relationship with them? Are we fucking with them? Are we avoiding them? Uh, if they're here, does that mean the Bratva's hands off or... Uh, this is probably the first time that the Troubleshooters and the Bratva have ever crossed paths in any meaningful capacity. You might have, like, the one Troubleshooter squadron that had to stop at the Prospero for, like, emergency repairs, but there's been no major political strife back or forth or anything like that. So don't fuck it up. I think we're doing great so far, personally. So far, yes. <laughs> All right, cool. So we're going to go ahead and take our 10 minute break. And when we come back, we are going to see what kind of trouble we're going to shoot. <laughs> All right. So Marco, maybe, did you make us late? Maybe I should make it a 15 minute break. I don't know. No, 10 minutes is fine. I was just fucking choking on my food, like actually choking. So uh, I'm not dead. That's, <laughs> I'm not dead. That's okay. good. Oh, my fucking God. Jesus, man. Your death is permanent, so, you know. Very much so. It would have been like, he never came back, and I just would have been on my kitchen floor. <laughs> man, he's choked to death. Won't do that again. Won't do that again. Oh, oh my gosh, my chest. All right, so we're not going to stay on this map for too terribly long, but I do have a pretty sick view of the docking station you guys are about to head to. So after you guys leave the... After you guys are done... Being connected to the uh, the Zhangxi Four, you'll be given another updated uh, set of coordinates to head down to what's known as the Bell, according to the the coordinates. 
and uh, it's basically just a, a a thruster that's been left and abandoned out here. It may have once been part of the factory to like keep you know orbital alignment, but if it is, it's long abandoned. Let me pull it up. There we go. We got your little junk ass ship in the middle of that. But yeah, it's absolutely gargantuan. And yeah, this is just the uh, yeah, this is just the landing station for like the hang out here while you get prepared to head into the actual factory location. Uh, Kilroy said that you guys needed to get yourselves familiar with somebody named Arcady and that she would have a messenger sent down here in a day or so with your with her objectives for you. Sound good? Cool. Yes. All right. Excellent. So you guys are going to uh, the basically the ship's going to Congratulations, guys. You're subcontractors now. <laughs> Yay. So you guys are going to have the uh, ship pull up to the thrusters and there's like no immediate call for uh, for action or anything like that. There's no hailing or anything. The ship is just sit down here and it gets like deathly quiet on board. Did they know we were coming? Mm -hmm. Wait, so we're still on our ship, not leaving it for some yeah, I mean, you have no way of docking to that ship. Cool. Well, I'm laying down in my hammock and waiting. Yeah, I mean, I probably could have landed, you know, somewhere and got us in, but uh, <laughs> Reedmar, I guess, didn't, didn't want me flying. Reedmar had to give you an AI ship. Max is so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, it's not that he didn't want to give you a, a ship you could pilot. It's yeah, that he yeah, didn't yeah. have he's a ship you could fucking pilot. He, he's, not, he's not pissed at Reedmar. He's, he's just pissed about it. I'm going to... Wait, does the ship... Does the ship have like an AI voice on it? Uh, it's got a, it's got an assistant on it, a, a very, very rough old bitch. But yeah, what's the, what's the name? Classic mother. <clears throat> hey mother, um, play some jazz while we're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> it would be my pleasure to play you some jazz. And then it starts to play elevator music instead. Oh. <laughs> I fucking love this ship already. <laughs> God damn it. I'm just yeah. swinging in my hammock listening to elevator music. <laughs> right, well, Max is taking the pistol out from where he hid it under his shirt or something. Put it back in the thigh holster. Oh, I was like, don't do anything permanent with that. <laughs> it's just elevator music, man. <laughs> it's just a jazz. He like he pulls it out, con looks at it for a second, contemplates something, and then puts it back in the holster. <laughs> contemplates something, he says. Yeah, 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 yeah. Motherfucker. Just thinking He's about it. Shoot Luciana. No, I'm kidding. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? Dude, I play jazz on the other ship all the time. I mean, that would be actually going to do. It. That would be a, a a nice reversal from last time where you almost fucking murdered Christian. So. <laughs> Whoa, I had my reason. This would be completely pointless. What? I didn't say where I was going to shoot Luciano. I could have shot him in the leg. No, that oh, was yeah, pointless. That. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was my roommate. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. How long are you guys willing to sit out here in, uh, in silence? It's not silent. Yeah, I'm we afraid. probably I... don't have a docking uh, yeah. mechanism. Do we have a docking mechanism for the ship? No, this is not have an umbilical. Okay, yeah, we're just. This we're has just to have about as much in. features as a, like a spaceship compared to a bicycle. <clears throat> like, yeah. All right, I so, guess so uh, Max is sitting here, right, looking at. He knows what kind of ship this is. He knows what they would need to dock. Is our alarm bells going off in Max's head? Are alarm bells like, going off okay. in your head? I would say like give me. They said to dock. They, they said to dock, right? There's no docking port that I can see, and there's no, like, hangar to land in. 
I don't think they told us. Give me a sanity save. Yep. And I did not pass. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, so this whole, this sitting deathly still like this is driving you absolutely fucking crazy. You've never had to sit with, like, your your, your thumb up your ass like this. Um, not in quite a while. So... I like this. Can't we just call her and tell her that we don't have the proper... What would you... Uh, oh, sorry. Um, go ahead. I was gonna say, can't we just, like, Call their ship and be like, "Hey, so That's this is like an suggest, yeah. AI yeah. operated. Like we don't have the proper materials or whatever pilot terms is to dock properly." Yeah, if you want to give them a, a a call, you can try and do that from your uh, from your ship. What do you uh, What do you say? I will say uh, hello again, uh, Killjoy. We would gladly love to dock. However, this ship is AI operated and we don't have uh, the docking capabilities. So is there like an alternative? What would you like for us to do? <clears throat> Arcady hasn't came and gotten you yet. No. All right. Um, give me a second. I'll you got a pen and paper. I'll give you the frequency. I sure do. Sometimes a bastard likes to uh, keep his thoughts private. You know what I mean? Understood. All right. So, yeah, she'll give you uh, the frequency number so that you can align your the ship's frequency with theirs. All right. Do I actually need to write these numbers down or? Uh, fuck no. No. <laughs> oh, OK, I was I just want to let you know I was ready. I was ready. <laughs> Damn, no, that'd be fucked. I had my notepad here. pulled up. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, no, I just I'm just interested in seeing how you guys handle uh, hailing your no show. I mean, my whole my whole career is hurry up and wait. So. Yeah, I I'm just, so uh... uncomfortable right now. You're not supposed to sit in one place for too long if you're smuggling, dude. You gotta stay on the move. You, Max, well, we've already been caught. It does not. Gotta chill. And technically, we're not smuggling yet. You have to have the stuff to smuggle. So, <laughs> now, while while we wait, this just is a new, just this trapped is a new in a tin can, uh, Chad is going to go over to any kind of like, I'm, I'm assuming there might be some kind of cable or something in the ship. If it, if it has a, if it actually has like a latrine and showers and everything. And uh, they'll just pull out a buoy knife, not turn it on because it's a vib like a vibro blade, and just start doing the whole stab between fingers thing <laughs> to wait. That's sick. Hey, Chad. Can, can you not do that in front of me? Sorry, does it make you uncomfortable? Very. Do it any faster? Yeah. No, two different types of people. Yeah, I can do it faster. Should I do it faster? He can do faster. it a lot faster. Yeah. The, 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 do you how, fast some... you, how fast can you go? So Chad's just going to grin and then just incrementally pick up speed. So it's like an exponential growth. Just, you know, dot, 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 Can I get you anything to calm your nerves down, Max? What? I don't know. Can you, can you get us onto that station or out of here? Mother, can you dock us? This ship has no facility to do any sort of docking. You'll need an auxiliary umbilical. That's what I figured. Yeah. Here, give it. Please contact your Dynacorp representative to purchase your. Uh, I thought we umbilical. solved the whole waiting process. We got the frequency thing, right? Yeah, I'm just waiting for you guys to hail him now. Yeah, I, that's what I thought. Oh, then yes, I will do that. I thought that you, you hailed Killjoy, so now you need to hail uh, Kadia. Man, I'm or not Katie. sober enough for this. Yeah, let's help. <laughs> kill Roy? <coughs> kill Joy or Kill Roy? Killjoy. Oh, I've been saying Killjoy. I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> it's Kill Roy. <laughs> Oops. Now you guys got me fucked up. 
Kilroy. We got the DM messed up. No, he's like, yeah, it's, it's, like Kilroy. it's Kilroy. It's yeah, Kilroy. Kilroy didn't um, shoot me in the back of the head, so I got my Siggy. Gotcha. That's how I remembered it. Tracking. Okay. I just thought they were Killjoy because they were uh, a very stern. Yeah, they, they were they were joy killing. <laughs> I mean, we can fuck your career. You could die out here. Well, I could die at home too, but killing here we are. <laughs> All, right, so All right, so hailing out to is yes, like yeah, hailing out to the bell. You say hi. Hey. Kill Killjoy uh, informed us that you'd be helping us, Doc. <laughs> He's gonna find that hilarious. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I'm committed to the bit at this point. Because we can't dock due to it being an AI ship, so. And we don't have an umbilical. And we don't have an auxiliary umbilical. umbilical. Yeah, so. We don't here have we are. an auxiliary umbilical. Do we have an auxiliary umbilical? Did here you say that you're flying a computer? Essentially, yes. The computer's flying us. The, or the, yeah, the, the computer's kind of flying us, yeah. I'm not happy about it either. We do have a pilot. This was just given to us. Our pilot is very unhappy about the situation. <laughs> Look, uh, let me put my junk up and my pants on, and I'll uh, I'll be out there in a minute, okay? All right. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> hey, uh, hey, Ace. Will you need a Captain uh, High Strong over there? Ace. You, Who the fuck is Ace? To... Oh no, not not you. Sorry, over. Uh, Matt. You're not seeing doubles, are you? What? what? He's like really single. fucking tense on the radio. Doubles. Hot mic. Are you seeing him? But stop hot micing. Nice. Put, put, pull your hand off of the. Oh, there, there you go. Over. You pointing yes. the max. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take out a little pocket we flask are... and throw it to him. Shut oh, yeah, up and take a drink. This helps. And yeah. while while he's doing that, I'm gonna respond back to our. Uh, Frequency man and go, no, no one's seeing doubles. They just don't know how to operate a this. Yeah, that's not my trick. Over. <laughs> Over. We don't know. We can't. There's no controls. So, drinking, uh, you have disadvantage on speed checks. But if no stress is inflicted, then you uh, can reduce your stress by two. Oh, so for the the, I... the scene that you're drunk for. So for the next narrative bit here, essentially, if you feel like getting yourself drunk and you don't stress yourself out for like the next oh. eh, 15, 20 minutes, then you'll be fine. I'm not getting drunk. I'm just taking a swig. Okay. Yeah. It's not going to do anything thing for was... you besides waste your material, but... It's, the next yeah. thing I was going to do was offer him THC, but... No, no I, I, like, you just to, like, take a sip from the flask and I'm just going to put my finger under it and tip a little more. <laughs> you you need Thanks. you got right. so yeah, yeah a few Actually, like here comes the airplane <laughs> down <laughs> <it>. <laughs> hey, here comes the airplane and then there's this huge thunk on the ship and looking out the <laughs> looking out the window you can see there's a dude in a vac suit and like a a, a fucking <clears throat> umbilical like uh, tied to a rope behind him and uh he like presses his face up against the glass, and I'm not gonna lie, this is one ugly ass motherfucker. They are, oh. they are quite fucking rough looking. Um, let me see. Let's drop a let's drop a picture of Arcady down here. <laughs> Chat react on a scale of one to ten. How ugly is this person? We gonna find out. Pretty fucking oh, rough, dude. I would say. That guy's a that, that oh, guy's a disgusting. The only way he would be a, oh my god. Yeah, you just see this absolutely disheveled fucking mess of a man lean through like two panes of glass, and oh. uh, you, you see him kind of like suck in a bit of snot and spit. And he doesn't uh, live in a crack house. Oh! He lives in a crack mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Chat said, and I quote, "Ew." <laughs> You're gonna hear his. Hey boys, worst worst she could say is no. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Cries. You guys hear his magnetic boots uh, click on and off of the ship as he makes his way over to uh, the port side of the ship. Eventually, a few minutes later, after some hissing and what you think is cussing in Russian, he gets the thing attached and um, he'll radio over comms. I'll meet you inside. I hope uh, hope you got your space legs. 
Um, all right, Max is gonna like go over to the bu button to open the door. He's like, "All right, this invisible coal's probably gonna work, but just in case, everybody exhale." And he's gonna push the button. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does work. Um, you do notice though that, you know, you're used to nice bright walkways and neon lights and shit, but there is some glow in the dark tape. Um. That's barely lighting up this umbilical. And when you look down, there's basically zero sign of any power on board the bell. Oh. Is there gravity at least? No. It oh, is no. it is zero G through here. I got a, a little shoulder mounted light. I'm gonna click that on. And we I have it. a flashlight. Yeah, ten <laughs> meters of vision. Helpful. Max is just gonna just gonna hit a couple uh couple sick backflips in the zero g and be like oh this is fun what the fuck i'm gonna try and do that who here had zero g as a skill oh so me and lou are just yeah, like raid mars boys right at home. Wait, wait 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 are we out in open space or are we moving we're in an space? umbilical you're, yeah so you're not like in open team. space you're in that little flexible tube that will okay, transport you from a ship onto a onto a station that's right Wait, again, sorry. Who had zero G? I do. Red Wars I think Wars. it's just me and Luciano. Just, yeah. That's it? Jesus. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine the rest of you might have, like, an hour or two of zero G space time, but, uh... Yeah, no, you, you're you're about to hit some real fucking foreign territory. Like, as soon as the, uh, the ship decompresses, um, you get the stale funk from the bell as well as uh, the loss of gravity. Cool. Oh, weightlessness and the smell of cigarette smoke. Right, but <laughs> My favorite. Max and Lou are just kind of like floating along, having a good time. Everybody else is like flailing their arms and legs. All right, so you guys are going to make your way down this exceptionally long umbilical, especially if you guys are um, not used to zero G conditions. The, the two boys might be able to make the trek in just a minute or two, but for the rest of you, you're basically bumble fucking around and doing your best to orient yourself a bit basically it it's exceptionally difficult to get around in zero g conditions yeah well anyways good luck we'll, we'll see you there <laughs> yeah i guess i guess to guide uh, eyes, what channel did just grab onto on the sides the end of the tunnel don't go upside down yet you'll probably freak yourself out so. he says that as soon as i go upside down <laughs> or just go right upside down there is no there is no up or down so all right, so I uh, threw the map up for you guys. You're free to move yourselves around for the most part. Um, I would say you guys have probably been awake long enough for the day that um, feeding yourselves and drinking and shit is probably going to start becoming a concern here soon. But um, once you guys get in, our uh, Arcady takes off the vac suit and uh, you can see he's... You can, it looks like he's been wearing the same pair of coveralls for at least 40 years or more. They're more so held together by patches than any actual, like, factory stitching on the garment. But, um, they're, 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 they're covering his body. And, uh, after a, a, a nice, like, snort of a loogie and then spitting it onto the ground, he'll, uh... Oh. <laughs> so what brings you bastards here? I'm just with the survey just gonna, team. Just gonna look at Jinx. Oh, yeah, uh... Don't be shy now! We, oh, definitely not shy. Sorry, I just didn't expect everyone to expect me to answer all the time. But, uh, yes, as, uh, Chad said, we are a part of a survey team, and, uh, we are here to look at stuff. And help out time. kill... I can do this. Uh, Roy. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> with God some uh, some request. Ah, uh, Kilroy sent you out here. You know, I really like her. We uh we see eye to eye on a lot of things, and then like right on cue, one of his eyes goes fucking lazy. <laughs> I see. I don't think he, he does. I like this. I like this guy. <laughs> this guy's cool. This guy's a vibe. 
Nah. Bro, this guy's literally me. Yes. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Probably smells the same too. Oh, that's that's not nice. <laughs> I smell good. I wear Kalogni. Allegedly is wild. Allegedly. Really? Alright. So. <laughs> after. <coughs> Uh, after a moment of uh, awkward silence between everybody, Arcadia's Arcadia's gonna ask, uh, like a... "What did Kill where I tell you about the place?" It's, it's bad. Oh, nothing oh. much. Something about horrors and uh, bad things. Don't take certain certain things off. We're not supposed to be here. here. I'm sure. I'm sure the usual spiel. Does she tell you about Warden? No. no. What's Warden? Enlighten us. What the fuck? Uh, don't say the name that loud. She can fucking hear you. Oh. Okay. Are you Let's... trying? Are you trying to get w... us all replicated? Is this what you meant by doubles earlier? Are you seeing double? <laughs> are you okay, Arcady? I'm know. fine. Again. He checks his tag. I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> the tag he checked. Well, said hello, Clyde. fine. I'm Chad. The tag that he he checks says uh, Oddbeck Android Facilities Verified Human. Oh, this motherfucker. <laughs> he um, talking about the biz. I'm going to check my Geiger counter. Uh-huh. Is it is it chirping at all? Yes, absolutely. I would say cool. trace radiation right now. Noted. If I hold it closer to Arcady, does it start going stronger? Oh, absolutely. Jinx will back up immediately. <laughs> nice. Max right. is just going to take a length of paracord and tie it around his pinky. That way I know which one's me. Hey, let me, let me get some of that. <laughs> That's... Let me, not a let, bad. You let me get a bracelet. A bracelet. Well. Oh, <laughs> if you guys are looking to keep your heads on your shoulders, I've got a special someone for you to meet. Noriko, she's, uh, she's, how do we put it? She, she's the heart of the ship. She, she keeps everyone's spirits nice and, nice and mighty. She also keeps, she, she also keeps all the candles lit around here. Oh, oh, the candles. I didn't notice them. They're just like, in here? they're just like those little fucking like fake Halloween LED candles that you put in like jack-o'-lanterns. That's that explains the smell. Yeah. No, the smell is definitely Arcady. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying, because the candles are fake. Like, oh, my bad. <laughs> Nutsack and hot dog water in here. Yep. Wow! That's kind of the same smell. It's obviously Nutsack and what? corned beef, but okay. <laughs> Let's just fucking dog the man, why don't we? Fuck. Oh, I mean... The you know, I didn't know it was coming from him. I thought it was just the station. Well, now, wait a minute. Let's just, let's talk to Noriko. Let's see what she's got going on for us. I hope yeah, that she I've... doesn't smell like dog water. Yeah, I've got shit to fix. So, uh, you guys make yourselves at home and, uh, um, don't break anything. For the lowdown. Tor. Look, as soon as kill... Fuck, night got... God damn it. Mm. Kill Roy. Roy. Kill Roy. Fuck you guys. Yeah, you seeing doubles? <laughs> you shaking, you seeing doubles? Sh shaking the you warden's seeing doubles confidence. Count? Brilliant. <laughs> About to put her fucking thing up here just so I can keep track of the name. Anyways. That's what we do, bro. Look, whenever Kilroy gives me the okay to uh, take you over to the factory, then then you guys can go diving, but... uh. I, I ain't escorting anybody that she says uh, to not to take, so you're stuck here until she says otherwise, okay? Well, she she told us to just get cozy with you and that you would take us aboard, so if that would if it'll help expedite getting us there, we can just call her now and hail her in your presence. Would that help? Uh, don't bother the lady while she's working now. Give her time. I'm, I'm sure there'll be a quick turnaround. Don't be so impatient. We would love to meet the beating heart of this station. What was her name again? Noriko. Noriko. Yeah, how about you guys make yourselves comfy, and uh, I I'm going to go take care of some stuff now, okay? 
Where do we find Noriko? I don't fucking know, son. Why don't you go do some searching? Better freak. All right. So with that, Arcadia is going to grab a bunch of a wide assortment of tools, mostly duct tape and uh, take off, essentially. Uh, the chamber that you guys are in is absolutely gargantuan. Um, it's basically just the uh, the last bit of uh, shit. What would you call it? The atomizer for the fuel before it reaches the cone and it's been cut down so that like all of the nice fancy walls that help break the fuel down into a usable form is just basically been reduced down to a slightly round tube um it's fucking gargantuan though like i said it's about a hundred feet in diameter so it is quite large um i wonder how they generate oxygen here if all the power is gone He says that, and I'm going to put on my rebreather. <laughs> Anyways, the power's not all gone. Gravity's not on, though. Ha. And I'm going to turn on my mag boots. If it's like, if you had the choice between gravity and air, <laughs> I don't know which you would choose. I know which I would choose. As soon as, as soon as those mag boots turn on, there's like a nice clicking sound as you connect with the surface. <laughs> Chad is just going to hold on to your shoulders. I'm yeah, gonna hold on to chat. Man. So just like floating what? behind you, like a like a curtain We're or just cape. Is these chain. Guys. I guess they don't got their space. Like, legs gravity's like for is just gonna kick off a wall and start heading in a direction. Is there any doors Probably or, or like? Does it look like there's? Oh yeah, shit. Is there any doors? Yeah, I mean <clears> you guys <throat> can see the map, right? Yes. Mm. Okay. Okay. Are they are they locked? No, they're not locked. You'll they'll oh. they'll be a little simple. I'll tell you if they're locked. Well, I can see Noriko in the map, so I'm just gonna. Sounds good to me. Oh, All shit. right. Yeah, oh wait, wait, wait. Kick off a wall and float Do down. Do we follow uh, Arcady? Or, like, nah, we... he's busy. You guys choose yeah. where you're going, and I will tell you what happens. Sounds good. Alrighty. Well, yep. we're floating wow, on over to Noriko. Wow, that is a scary looking lady. Cool. Yeah. Never what? mind. Turning around. Noriko is not scary. Scary looking lady. What? Don't tell me Noriko's not. <laughs> Look at her fucking character art. That if I woke up and saw that in my room, I would fucking. She looks I'm, like the fucking. Either me or Noriko guy. is getting shot, right? If I wake up and see that in my room, I don't know which one. If you know, if I woke up and saw, you know, Tom Cruise from Top Gun in my room, I'd probably ask why is Tom Cruise from Top Gun in my room, but I wouldn't react immediately with fear. I would just assume the Scientologists are finally here to silence me. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't react. <laughs> I'll say whatever the Scientologists want me to say, as long as they pay me. <laughs> yeah, I'm and a I huge advocate for selling I mean, yeah. out. I, I will unironically send them an email from you, and they will start sending you shit. Like, you, you will have to deal with spam mail from Scientology for the rest of your life. Dude, That's why if they're paying me. I'll, well, I mean, I'll do it. There goes our whole funny. Scientologist audience. Just Dude, like I'll plug that. Scientology for money. I mean, everybody knows. Yeah, we went from seven zero, to four. zero Scientology. Tragic. Audience. Fuck. Damn, that's half the We're fucking. Just... That, that's half our viewers. They were Scientologists. Oh, oh, we got up to five. <laughs> we got up to five, so we only lost two. Nicely done. <laughs> Damn it. Well, no, we, we lost. We lost two point five. All right, All right. Uh, Noriko. Uh, what? Oh, I guess what's in? The, yeah. So, yeah, you guys head down in here, and um, you guys are making your way through more uh, thruster components. Uh, right now, you're making your way through some what looks like some exceptionally tight fuel lines. They're long enough, or they're big enough for you guys to kind of walk through a bit cramped style, but uh, pull through. You're able to make your way through, and uh, it looks like this is like a, a bunker room of sorts. Um, it smells really strongly of Arcady back here, and uh, there's all sorts of tools and trash and shit laying around, like empty MRE wrappers. You can also see that the wall... You thought there was something like a paint job on the wall, but you get close to it, and it's actually a shit ton of tiny hash marks covering the wall. Oh, that's encouraging. Yeah, like they are literally covering it like floor to ceiling, 
essentially. Ew. Um, keeping track of the days. How nice. Somebody's been here for a while. Yeah, you can see there's a couple of bunks in here that have like the the strap so you can stay still in zero G while you're trying to sleep. And uh, looks like um, Noriko is in here basically just kind of cleaning up and tidying things. And um, as soon as you got she's like so invested in what you guys or what she's cleaning that she doesn't notice you guys coming in. Hello. Holy shit, we got a bunch of bots in the oh, chat. Wow. Jeez. Oh, that's how we know we made it big, baby. Oh yeah, all the all the bots. Woo! The, the bots are, are, are uh, I don't even have money to no. pay you guys. <laughs> the bots are here. We made it, boys. God damn it. I was the so Russians ready to kill that to kid. <laughs> Alright, so how do you guys uh how do you guys approach her? I don't. Just floating on over, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm busy connected to Cassidy, so... That, I'm about to say me, zero gravity. I like how you guys went from being like, I want to meet the heart of the ship, to fuck this bitch, I'm gonna sneak past her. Yes, God yes, damn. Like, oh, she's I didn't say I would sneak past her, I just can't her. really maneuver Shit. well in hey, zero uh, gravity. <laughs> I'm not Are you Noriko? Ugly manifestation. Whatever the fuck this... You get like a super excited like gasp out of her and she does like a real slow turn towards you and she's like this newcomers. The oh, there hasn't been new people on the bell in. There hasn't been new people on the bell in. Are you seeing double? However, many there days the hasn't been correspond new to. people on the bell in. So seeing her struggling, like, uh, Chad is going to kind of fill in the gap there. There hasn't been new people on the bell in a while, I take it. It's been a while, but it's we're here now. A, a long while. while. Yes, a very, very long while. What are you guys doing here? Well, Artifacts. You know, we're just going to look at Jinx. <laughs> Treasure <laughs> hunters. Oh, my God. That's yeah. so exciting. Have you guys been Isn't inside it? yet? No. Inside, inside what? The deep. The factory. Uh, no. no. Got any stories for us? It is the most whimsical place. Give me just a moment. I'm gonna. Something they write with her chat. <laughs> uh, yeah, Let's no. See. There's, dude. We're we're we. Okay, you walk into a room on an abandoned spaceship with no gravity. There's a bunch of scratch marks everywhere, and that lady is waiting for you, dude. This woman is not okay. She was cleaning. And it smells like arcadey, so they're probably getting down and dirty in here. If you guys are looking for artifacts, the Minotaur has got to be the greatest find of all treasure. Wow, tell us about the Minotaur. It's giving hive mind energy. It's the savior to humanity. Is it? What does it do? It teaches us how to treat each other the way we should be treated. It shows us the way to nonviolence and pacifism. Where is that? Where is this Minotaur? She's just in gets, case you wanted to go to it. She gets like this really upset look on her face like she's about to cry. And she says, I don't know. I've been looking and I can't find him. Oh, well, don't worry. Maybe we'll find him. If you do, will you please bring him to me or me to him? Well, we can't really bring you along. I don't think that's part of Kilroy's plan, but Just maybe we'll bring Luciano them back. Fucking... You can see that, like, she starts to, like, like tears start to well up in her eyes. Um, it's okay. It's okay. We will put in a good word for you. And the Minotaur will know of you. And then you guys could network. I, I I can't miss out on my chance for salvation. You you, please just just tell me when you find him and and I'll I'll make my way. I promise. Okay. Yeah. No, of not course. A yeah. Not a problem. We'll give you a hail. Did not guys... everyone. <laughs> yeah, sure. Ah, ah, yeah. <laughs> Did you guys have anything else you wanted to ask her about? Uh no. yeah yeah Chad would probably be, have a couple questions for her. <clears throat> but first, so looking with uh, <sighs> her 
physical condition. Um, I don't have medical training, but it looks like Noriko has neglected her health. Just a, just a guess. So, what's going on with Norco? Can I have any kind of idea of uh, what's going on there? Maybe some kind of depression being pulled away from the Minotaur for so long? Um, yeah, give me a check psychology psych. check. Sure. Ah. After that, DM, I have a question. Yeah, no, she seems yeah. to be in a very deep state of psychosis um, set on by just, like, brutal obsession. Um, this is OCD gone completely unchecked for far too long and manifesting into a next very shitty stage, essentially. Is, is Norco right. wearing, like, a uniform of some kind, or the remnants of one? Yeah, she's wearing a very similar thing to Arcady. She's got a uh, Cloud Bank uh, verified human uh, patch and jumpsuit. And just real quick, I'm going to hit a quick rim-wise here. Um, has Max heard anything in his like travels about a group of psych about groups of psychos living on space stations that he should be worried about and avoid? Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell Stories. you that, like, no matter how well you roll, you wouldn't have heard anything about these people out here. Okay, cool. Figured. Um, nice. Yeah, and after like a moment of silence, Chad will ask a uh, couple questions. Noriko so, has questions. So, Noriko, you seem to be tidying up the place here. Seems like you take uh, great pride in your work. I'm curious, is uh, is all that along the wall? Was that you, or was that someone else? Oh, that was Arcady. He's been here a lot longer than I've been. I think there's 3,567 hash marks from the last time I counted, which was yesterday. Wow. So do you count it often? You seem to have a good memory. A few times a day. Oh, okay. Only a few times. That sounds fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious. There's uh, like some wrappers around the room. How often does Arcady leave trash around? Is that you? I mean, I, I would assume not. You seem pretty fastidious. Oh, no. I, uh, I, I would never leave any trash behind me. That is, that is unworthy of myself. Um, but of course. I, I, I don't play him arcade or anything. I don't hold it against him. It, 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 it gives me it gives me something to do. Well, that's very kind of you. That's very that's very sweet. Can you tell us anything about Arcady? Are you and him friends or relatives or have you guys been stuck here for a while? What's going on? Uh, you know, give me a sec. I want to see. I want to get a reaction roll real fast. And she says, nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, just, wow. just here, man. <laughs> Do you know if there's anyone else here in the bell? We've only met Arcadia and you. Is there anyone else that we should be aware of? Oh, you guys haven't met Ghost Eater yet? He's Who? all right. No. Why, no tell why us why about Ghost Eater. Ghost Eater. He's... Uh, He's another one of the divers. He's come and gone a few times. I think he's stuck here now. I don't think he'll leave even if he wants to. Oh, well, that's, that's good or bad. What do you think? Do you like Ghost Eater being here? I don't like how much of him is metal, but the flesh parts are nice. Oh, uh, OK. So is, is Ghost Eater have like cybernetic augmentation what's going on with all that he yeah he's he's got a lot of upgrades he calls them oh okay do you have any upgrades no i've been enlightened oh well that's great i hope we find enlightenment too if you guys want i can prepare a sacrament for you guys later if you want to come to the church sure what's that like it's a surprise. Oh, we love surprises. 
Oh, oh not we. I think I think Chad likes yeah, surprises. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with my religion. Um... <laughs> but it's very sweet of you to uh, extend that to the party. But I I think I think it might just be a Chad one that, yeah. No, well, I'm gonna take I guess my friends my might flask. not be as they might not be as open, but you know, depending on what time, maybe, you know. I know we have a we have a whole plan though, so we have to kind of go in a group and everything, but we'll see what happens, Norco. Nothing in the deep happens fast, so make sure you own your patience. Oh, well that's good. I I think a lot of us here uh don't expect anything to get done very quickly, so Welcome to your new home. Oh, uh, well, thank you. You're very kind. Now, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need the organics to give me a sanity save. I think we should leave. Well, actually, a fear. Fear save. Oh, fear save? Oh, oh great. And it's a disadvantage. And it's a disadvantage. Oh. Correct. Thank you, Chad. It is. You're welcome. <laughs> That's a fail. Uh, let's see. Failure, failure, failure. All of you failed. I don't think it's Thanks, possible Chad. to pass any of these. Another failure! Yeah, honestly. Oh, Cassidy was so close. I was so close. I feel like because of my patch, I should get plus five on my choice. <laughs> <laughs> no. I feel like because of my patch, you should get minus five on your checks. <laughs> what does your patch say? My patch is Smile. Big Brother is watching. Oh, oh my god. Mine's a pair of snake eyes that says too lucky for death, too stupid for fear. Mine's just the hard party <laughs> That's water. That's nice. That's sick. Mine's just the Gadsden flag and it says live free and die. <laughs> hard party harder. Sick. Alright, so, um, unless you guys have anything else that you want to ask Noriko, which I'm sure she would love to keep talking to you guys. You're free yeah, to explore no. the station. I, I was just, that, I was just trying to figure out a little bit of what's going like, on behind uh, behind her noggin there. Dipped. A whole after lot. <laughs> yep. Yeah, after talking it to her, I'm going to take some THC. <laughs> I'm not fucking with that bitch. Yeah, how about you guys? How's about everybody? How, we're gonna, do you guys want to make a rest save real fast? We need yeah. food. Hey, yo, Lou. Food, I'm sustenance. Hey, I already ate. Yeah, how do we make the how do we make that rest save? Uh, I do it for you guys. So let's Can see. Let's do it. What about ghost uh, eater? We'll talk to him later. I get a plus Nothing five to fast. mine. All right, I'm gonna add. Let's see, zero G to maxes and roll it normal. That's rough, bud. Oh, awesome, thanks. Don't think it's possible. Luciano. I'll add zero G to yours as well. Normal. What the fuck happened? <laughs> it on. I mean, we could just say you failed. That's fine with me. The, the crumbs from the MREs we ate are just like in our face while we're trying to sleep. Oh, yeah. oh. it certainly uh, did. Isn't it 100? Oh, yeah, crit it's, success. It's supposed to be. I don't know why that's programmed like that. Oh, it is a crit success. That one. Mm -hmm. Oh, 99's no. the crit. Correct. So let's see. We're going to take your stress from... Instead of it going from 4 to 5, it's going to go from 4 to 2. The nice. astronaut orange uh, juice keeps floating around and hitting Max in the face, and he can't sleep, and, and Luciano is just, like, <laughs> just happy. It's his I'm orange juice. I'm used to sleeping with juice. all your fucking trash floating around. Lou, quit fucking spilling the orange juice. <clears throat> No. Cassidy, don't really have a good skill to help you relax, bud. Are you, no, it's totally firearms. I'm going through like my my kit check. I'm I'm breaking <laughs> everything down methodically. I'm counting every bullet. I'm bringing the whetstone to the axe. Oh fuck! I lost the Jesus pin because we're my... in zero G. <laughs> yeah. I got oh, my shit. mag boots. I'm not in zero G. Yeah, uh, your your body is attached to the floor, dude. Yeah. I just I That's just lost saying. the uh, the bolt cam retainer pin. Uh, this is now a bomb. <laughs> yeah. Decently descriptive use, still a failure. No. I did let you. I did let you add it though. Jinx, how are you he relaxing? Lose, he did almost lose the Jesus. Um, pin. <laughs> well, due to my synthetic pet, I get a plus five. I don't know if that's to the. Oh, nice, cool. Yeah. A There's pet? a pet. Yeah, my synthetic. Uh, my belt is a little cyber uh, cobra. That's fucking sick. 
Yeah. At least it's not one of those yappy little dogs. Okay, I don't have a way to add this manually, so for right now, we're just going to say advantage. Nice. Brilliant. Woo! <laughs> All right, excellent. So, after you guys are done speaking with Noriko and kind of... Wait! What's up? I have a question. Speaking of fears, I forgot. So when when we were making our characters in the zero session or whatever, and we added fears, we got mm -hmm. those plus twos. But were those to our saves or to our uh, like strength, speed, intellect, combat? You can add it to your That's stats nice. or your saves. Gotcha. Thank you. I have not done that, so that was I was curious. Oh, did you miss out on that, Cassidy? I did. Yeah, so on your bio, just write down up to three fears. And for each fear, basically, it's going to just be like a, a, a automatic disadvantage type save for fear of sanity. Um, something I can leverage against you. But for each uh, fear you list up to three, you can add plus two to any stat or save. Oh, easy. So any... I'm going to be so terrified of existence, but I'm going to be so good at everything. <laughs> I'm terrified of waking up. And was that just a plus I'm two for listing up. three or a plus two for each fear that we did? It's a plus two for each, so you can get anywhere from two to six points. Sweet. Maximum six for three fears, though. After that, gotcha. after that, we're, we're just fishing. <laughs> understood, right. understood. So you guys wanted to check out the rest of the area. How about you try not to metagame this time and decide whether you would go backtrack or head forward i would backtrack I, mean, I, would <laughs> I would stay on cassidy so i might have to uh I, I might have to think about that put up some put up some walls and doors we went I mean, left she asked so this us time we, we gotta go right if we had met ghost eater so he, he'd be an interesting person to talk to all right so right. just gonna float in there Ooh. Give me just a moment. The computer is having a bit of a hiccup. Okay, Ghost Eater's, you know, he's less a uh, horrifying abomination and more uh, Fall Out Boy concert. So that's, you know, we're getting somewhere. Because uh, Ghost Eater's giving... Um, Ghost Eater's giving Welcome to the Black Parade. I would Noriko's say it's, giving, it's very uh, Gerard way. Noriko's giving I have no mouth and I must scream. So. <laughs> oh my God. lord. God damn. It's actually a fantastic story, by the way. You guys it is. It. Harlan Ellison's a very good writer. I, uh, I'm just going to let everyone know now that my computer is having like a big fucking hiccup right now and may cause problems to the stream, but we're just going to have oh to God. see. Am is in your computer. We take these. Have I ever told you how much I hate humanity? There are okay. I won't do the whole. What's thing. the name of your girlfriend again? <laughs> Max's, Max's girlfriend and yes. the one that is. The, no, 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 no. The one that's trying Max's to kill you. Wife. Corporea. Yeah, Corporea strikes wife. again. Corporea, Corporea is your wife. Is not my wife. <laughs> no, she's gonna she's walk not. up to one. She's going to walk up to one of us and be like, have you seen Max? Good. These people, your characters do not know about Corporeo because Max's no, ass ain't talking about that shit. That's traumatic. Joke's on That's you. all Dossiers. three of his greatest fears. I'll get it. Oh, well, Max doesn't know you have a dossier, but he still ain't talking about that shit. All right. So Unless when you, you guys... Him. You can ask him. When you guys make your way back across uh, the, the initial docking point, you notice that there is... Uh, you thought at first when you guys were heading through that this was just a, one of the several large piles of... Oh, was... <laughs> I thought that was... I clicked on Ghost Eater and that sound came out at the same time, so I was very concerned. <laughs> Don't click on my shit! It was like... <laughs> That's hilarious. It was like, oh, he lives? I think that... Hold on. Give me just a moment. Fat dog. Talk amongst I yourselves. Space dogs. 
So there yeah, is. no technical difficulties right now, just dog difficulties. But I never told there. you how much I hate humanity. There are approximately 127 billion miles of copper circuitry running through my computer network. If the word hate were inscribed on every nano angstrom of this network, it would not equal one one billionth of the amount of hate that I have for you. Your alarm you clock am. is going to grow legs and strangle you in your sleep. What the dude, fuck a, did I come a, back to? Oh, oh, he was just, he was, no he was just literally I'm quoting a line dude, from so uh, fucking good. I, have, I have no mouth. Shit goes hard. Oh, okay. Especially like, when God. Harlan Ellison narrates it, dude, it's perfect. God fucking Scary. damn. There's an audiobook. You can probably get it on an audiobook if you don't want to read it. I think it's free on YouTube. All right. Yeah. yeah, the whole story is free on YouTube. It's like three hours long. Oh, it might, I think it might only be 40 minutes long, actually. Anyways, I think it might be public domain. There's this massive day. pile of what seems to be <clears throat> junk um, in that middle of that retrofitted hangar bay. And uh, it's not until you're walking past it and kind of give it a second glance, you see that there's this very hastily painted on, uh, like, spray paint job on it that says Archeron. And um, it, 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 it looks like it might be a ship. Like, it... Could be space worthy, maybe. Pilot, it, pilot, it, check. Is it? I'm um, taking the picture. <laughs> you don't have to make the check, but I mean, that's. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's a ship. It's got thrusters and a cockpit. I know. I know ships. Whether or not it's airtight it. or not is a completely separate thing. Oh, there's Ooh. patch kits, right? There's ways to test that. <laughs> Yeah, just not on good board. ones. <laughs> Send <to> Chad. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, yeah, there's just that little hunk of junk sitting in the middle of the, the docking bay. And you guys can make your way over to um, where Ghost Eater is. This area, it's fled through through another fuel line. And this is seemed to be like retrofitted into like a storage area. It's pretty cramped. There's a lot of shelving units basically just stacked as close as possible. Like to reach into them, you would have to like feed in from one side, check this shelf. And if you want to check the shelf behind you, you need to feed out, turn around and then go back in. It's oh my God. yeah, <laughs> it's oh, fucking like obnoxious. Nightmare. If anybody has claustrophobia, you'd probably be tempted to leave. Oh, oh damn. You don't, you don't have to, it's not that bad, but you're definitely standing, like, right there by the door, because that's, like, the most arm space to, that it has to offer. Oh, man. <laughs> Bro was not meant for this kind of crawl space work. <laughs> no, I was not. Literally fear number three, claustrophobic. I, it said in the job description, crawl space is listed right here under skills. It just says crawl space. <laughs> Anyways, so... Um, there's a lot of supplies over here. Um, there's a shit ton of vac suits, like a suspiciously large amount of vac suits. Uh, lots of O2 tanks, some SMGs, ammo for them, food, uh, flashlights, shit like that. All the kind of stuff that you would need to go, well, diving, essentially. And, uh, Ghost Eater's in here. Looks like he's in the middle of shopping for himself. And uh, it looks like the whole place runs off the honor system because there's literally just a computer terminal that says, please pay here. And it's up to you to swipe for shit. I'm just going to just watch for a second to see if he pays. Yeah, uh, he's he continues grabbing gear when you guys walk in and he gives it a minute kind of waiting for you guys to say basically anything to him. Just kind of seeing how you guys handle social situations. And um, yeah, he oh, yeah, just waves. Okay, just a oh, friendly hey, you wave. Unfortunately, yes. Yeah, uh, we uh, we're new here. We were just talking to Noriko over there. Um, she's an interesting <clears throat> lady. Noriko is a treasure on the Bell. Definitely mm -hmm. something to be protected and. Oh, she is. She's a sweetheart. Why does everybody keep saying that? <laughs> <What is> everybody... 
<laughs> Why is everybody keep stabbing me? Probably in the back? because she obsessively cleans stuff, dude. That's so great to have. Not saying that out loud. So, what are a bunch of green asses doing out here? Oh, we're just uh, part of a survey team. We're just here to understand what's going on. We're here for treasure. Here to understand what's going on. Yeah. Do you, you want to tell us anything about it? Only if it pays. I got a cigarette. He's gonna if look you at Jinx. Some. I'm not paying for this shit. I didn't ask the question. <laughs> the one who's in charge. You're supposed to pay him. No, nah, y'all want this shit. Do what you will. <laughs> what if I offer him a darty? He's gonna open the front of his. Uh, he's actually got a. Uh, a bit of a helmet on and he opens it up and you can see that there is just a shit ton of cyberware covering a lot of his face and under his eyes down to his mouth they stopped working a while ago don't taste right anymore thanks, thanks for the you. offer and he'll put the, the helm back down all right everybody here's a freak <laughs> <laughs> did you say that um, out loud no, God, no. <laughs> well, I'm going to start shoplifting. I mean, lift shopping. <laughs> <laughs> do you actually do you actually start taking shit in front of him? Is there any cameras or anything? In there's no there's no cameras. Please, for him. the love of God. I'm please. just going to pick something up and uh, I'm going to pick up something like inconsequential. Like, I don't know, some like him lights and I'm going to see what Bubble he gum. says. I'm just going to like put it in my pocket. Yeah, when when uh, Luciano grabs something and moves to put it in his in the pocket, <clears throat> Chad will speak up to uh, address Ghost Eater. So I'm curious, Ghost Eater. There's a bunch of equipment here. Is that stuff that you've gathered? It has Arcady gathered it. Is it is it Noriko's? It looks like a lot of people have moved through here to uh, get this equipment. It's a bit of a group effort. Whenever someone goes in, finds a little bit more than they were hoping for, and they can bring it back, sell it for a decent bit. Decent bit. Usually just pays for enough for you to head back in. Sells. So you guys do trade here. Is that, is that right? Yeah, just the bare necessities so that we can keep diving. Some people got extra oxygen. Some people got extra bullets. Oh, I see. That's interesting. So I'm curious then, do you receive a lot of visitors, like merchant vessels or uh, cargo freighters, anything like that? Just suicidal maniacs like yourself. Oh, okay. I got a question. What about you? Are you a suicidal maniac like us? Or are you a, a diver? <laughs> I, uh... Ma, 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 ma. Yeah, I uh, I came here looking for artifacts a long time ago. Oh no! Uh, Did you find any? What do you think? Does I he don't have, know. That's why I'm he, asking. Does he have a certified pin? A certified human moment pin? The certified human moment pin? <laughs> <laughs> Are you seeing doubles? Human moment. <laughs> Look at that guy. He has to breathe. Classic Look at that nerd. Moment. He's got to drink water. Look at Classic him. He's got feelings. Moments. He gets sad. Look at all these humans die. going into cryo sleep. <laughs> Classic humans. Jesus Christ. No, he does not have. He does not have the uh, the verified human patch on him. No, he's got a a completely different getup from Arcady. Uh, he, this is much more of a like rough and tumble like quasi vac suit quasi mercenary type kit he's got um it is much more aggressive than what the other two wear so how come you don't have one of those human patches i don't feel the need to pretend like those two do pretend that's interesting yeah pretend so why don't we talk about that I noticed they were interesting individuals. What are they pretending to do?
you can see he gets kind of a he gets a bit uncomfortable in his body posture look there's some hard truths to accept here everyone's coming to terms with them it's different for everybody let's not get into the specifics of people's lives yeah well i'm just really curious I, I, after all noriko you know she's such a sweet person she was hoping that i would come to some kind of enlightenment i mean how am i going to know if i'm enlightened or not if i don't know how to get there you know but what if i'm pretending right now i don't want to pretend if you're looking for some <laughs> sort of spiritual enlightenment noriko is the one to talk to I'm more so worried about what's going on in here. And um, honestly, I think you guys need to see it firsthand before we have a whole lot meaningful to discuss. Oh, well, cool. you said see it firsthand. Uh, what is it and where can we find it? The deep. Oh, OK, well, that's great. We're planning on going there anyway. I hope you make a safe return. I hope we do too. Thank you. At that point, he's going to pack up whatever he has, make his payment, and head out. Oh, wait, Ghost Eater. What's up? I'm going to follow him over to the payment machine. That ship, the Archon. She fly? <clears throat> fly? That's a generous term. Arcady gets it to run. <clears throat> he usually uses it to get us over to the deep, but uh, it's a rough ride. Mm. Is she airtight? No. Cool. You shouldn't be heading anywhere in the deep without a vac suit anyways. Yeah, speaking of vac suits, um, mind if we borrow some? There's no borrowing here, kid. And then he leaves. <laughs> wait, really what wait, 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 wait a minute that. now. If you have any for sale, I would definitely be interested the computer thing he's not the shopkeep uh well where's the shopkeep the computer terminal that says please pay here how much <laughs> is a back suit how much it is a is... back suit yeah let's see the chem lights back Ooh. about 10k it looks like now chad chad is gonna look to uh <clears throat> to jinx uh, supply and, demand? and he's gonna like kind of pull along on the back of Cassidy, since, you know, I'm on Cassidy and you're on me, just to get closer <laughs> to you. Wait until Ghost Eater is gone out of earshot doing Ghost Eater things, and then we'll uh, whisper into Jinx's ear. So, you said earlier that you were good at computer things. I'm thinking we might be able to make our own purchases. <laughs> I love how you think. Yeah, I could I could give it a shot. Worst case maybe scenario. I can, maybe I can help you. Yeah, let's do it. All right, excellent. So is, this the, is this the part where we all start a shopping cart? I guess so. Um let's see. So Yeah, what's your game plan? Are you just gonna hack the machine and make a fake entry for a purchase or can I aid uh, in any way? I have computer skill. Or, I also have mathematics, so if this is old equipment, I might amount. be able to help with the, the ones and the zeros. Yeah, go ahead and give me um, a computer check at advantage, Jinx. Oh, not hacking? Oh, yeah, sorry, hacking. That's what I meant. All right. With advantage. It says select stack. Can I add my intellect question mark? Mm -hmm. Yes. And yeah, it's a strength check. You gotta arm wrestle a computer. And if you ever had one of those motherfuckers with like a big, fat, heavy switch on it, yeah. I got a three, Your Honor. Wow, brilliant, oh, nice. Right. Yeah, so you're able to get access to uh, this computer, and also there is a, another computer terminal on the local system, which this one's back in the room that you guys were just in with uh, uh, Homegirl. Norco. Oh. All right, boys. What do we want? Oh, yeah, as soon as you start messing around with uh, the machine, 
as I'm as I'm aiding you, I'll, you'll see that Chad is definitely like tapping at the SMG. I mean, <laughs> Chad isn't like actively putting anything in yet. Like I'm not doing inputs. I'm just like I'm like this like this thing. Like all right, need, so you want one of those? Everybody gets one free item because we can't make Holding it too vacuum, conspicuous. Too. You want a vacuum suit? Okay. And some oxygen, obviously. And oxygen. Oh wait, we have oh, oxygen. And oxygen. On our, oxygen. We have oxygen on our oh, vessel. Boy. Just, Blue just a reminder. Oxygen. Ten, ten oxygen. Uh, let's see. I also have my own supply personally. So, um, all right. So, vac suit, SMG, uh, Cassidy. Yeah. Um. So I had to step away for a moment. What all is actively available? Um, easily available shit. It will include. Let's see. You can easily get vac suits, SMGs. Um, very common ammo. There might be. Um other like one of a moderately kind of like not anti-material rifles but there might be like one pulse rifle here there might be one advanced combat armor here otherwise it's mostly uh the basics anything that would cost like a thousand credits or lower okay um so, so, uh, what, what am i looking at in regards to like Something akin to like a sawed off. Uh, yeah, you could find that. It's marked for a lot of fucking money, though. Really? I mean, I know you're hacking for it, but. Um, like how much? A lot. Like 15,000. Sheesh. Supply and demand. Well, I mean, like, is it really gonna go missing? Is it really going to go missing, he says? Wow. Yeah, like, is, is, it, is it going to be missed? I don't know, dude. There's three people here, and stuff's going to go missing. <laughs> They're not going to blame the three people that have been living here. Well, yeah. <laughs> they like, can narrow gotta... it down pretty quickly, too. Did you take it? No. Did you take it? No. Well, I know I didn't take it. Hmm. What about the, the four new people? Five new yeah. people. Yeah. So my thought is, like, we, we need the equipment to make it back out. Safely. This is that's why we're we're making a purchase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, unless one of them is completely tech savvy, I'm sure I could I'm sure we could make this a clean getaway or we could All find right. someone to pin it on. Um uh, but we'll worry about that when All we right. cross that bridge. Okay. Uh, let me let me let me defer this entirely then to you, <laughs> Jinx. Um does this feel a little too cut above? Is this a little much? Um I also took a vac suit because is stealing wrong? Yes. But you know what's worse? Dying. You know what? That's a good point. I'm taking this sawed off. <laughs> yeah. Take a vac suit? Yeah, I'm, I'll take uh, nah, one, va the, one vac suit. Two tank. One vac I'm suit, one vac suit. SMG. Um, There's a difference between a low oxygen environment and a vacuum, one, buddy. One canister of oxygen. He's he's putting on the back, he's and <laughs> maybe three magazines of SMG for SMG. That way there's one in and I have two spare. Good call. Definitely going to stock up on strapping ammo. Strapping the, the pistol before, on the outside of the back suit, getting the sawed off. Before I do that, the shoddy. Uh, I can do this. Is, uh, no, I can't. I'm going to call you Lucino. I don't think that's right, but... Luciano! <laughs> Luciano, Luciano, there we go. Hey, cappuccino! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly? Oh, you can't be racist against Italians. I forgot uh, that. Uh, uh, Lu Luciano. Um, I made that up. <laughs> I was just told that you were that your name was Lou and you were an asshole. So I'm trying my best here, honestly. Um, That's what do you want? I, call him. I can call him Lou. You gotta call him Luciano. I'm just gonna look at Max. <laughs> Is um, he wrong? <laughs> Is he wrong? I don't think I've been an asshole yet. No, I haven't had any problems with you. Okay. I'm cordial. I'm. So <laughs> I have a question yet. for you. GM. Yes. Um, on this list facility. of on this list of inventory mm -hmm. for this honor system computer, is there spe like really interesting specialty equipment like say a cybernetic diagnostic scanner? Uh, no. That would be that would be like trying to find Shame. A, a a pan and they're in the middle of a gold rush like they are. All gone. I got two Shame. questions. 
One, am I going to take a vac suit? Sounds like everyone's taking a vac suit. All right, oh. Taking a vac suit. Two, um, do they have a pen here or a marker? Somewhere. Uh, um, yes. All right. Max is going to go grab a marker and be like, all right, real quick, gather around. He's going to take out the marker. He's going to write a one on his wrist, and he's just going to go around the group. Two, three, four, five, writing the number on here. Just because there's some odd fishy stuff going on. I want to know who's who. I want to get replicated. Which number did I get? Uh, Luciano's two. You're three. Jinx is four. Chad is five. You don't sound very confident about that. <laughs> I made it up as I went because I... Because the number's not important. It could be. Okay, so, first time to charm. Uh, Mr. Uh... Exu. Alright, anything else? Going on your left wrist. Uh, I really wanted one of those cybernetic skin. Or, un... Okay. I... Are there... Let's see, is there any ammunition for... Oh, uh, is there any rad pills? Uh, yeah. I, I would say there'd be... There'd be two here or two oh, like nice. items worth I like. you guys can steal whatever you want nah, i don't like that yeah I, I we're just we're just documenting it in the computer that's all yeah i, I don't want to uh, steal a vac suit bad pills i feel like because the vac suit's already 10k exactly we're not stealing it yeah, we're, we're not stealing, stealing it the, it's so out of the that. system technically yeah. stealing <laughs> Um, it has ammunition for like pulse rifles, a trank pistols, and like a big game rifle, right? There's um, only one pulse rifle, but I already own a pulse rifle. Oh, and so you can nice. find the ammo for it, yeah? Sweet. Okay. I would say no more than like three magazines for each. That'd be that'd be as much as you could buy, I would say. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Something to consider. I didn't think of it until now. Um. There's plenty of vac suits here. Like you described, a scarily large amount of vac suits. Uh -huh. But do they have any patch kits? Because once we're out of the bell and we're in the deep, if there's low or no oxygen there, we're gonna need patch kits in case the suits tear. Uh, yeah, there's patch kits. I'd say there's probably about eight. Okay. Definitely a lot you guys of should... suits. You guys should each have one. Them. You guys should all you guys should all have at least one patch kit. I already got yeah. okay. What's the patch kit again? Sorry, I'm over here doing math. It's basically yeah. just flex seal for your vac suit. Yep, oh, pretty shit. much. <clears throat> um and give some shoddy M. Oh uh, yeah. Like I said up to three. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do that for me. Is that three bundles worth, or is that three, three magazines rounds? worth? Whatever that is for your gun. I'll just... No, I'm taking all three. Oh, how curious yeah. of you. Rad yeah, pills. uh... There's three for each person, or three all together? Three for each person. Alright, so, let's see. Once so you guys are done shopping in here, are you done shopping in here? Yes, because I feel like I'm, I don't want to take too long. <laughs> I, have, I have but a question for the warden. What the fuck? The way that the super shorty is stylized and cut off and everything, is it made in a way that you can do that stupid underworld shape where you just throw, like, random scrap in the barrel of it and then fire out, like, screws and pins and bolts and shit? Not if you want it to work after. <laughs> but I can do it at least once. Once, yeah, you can do anything once. Okay, cool. I just gotta put a bunch of broken glass in my shotgun barrel. No, All exactly. Right. Let's let's leave this area. Um, yeah. shit. Uh, hold on. Probably put the chem lights on there. We have oh. plenty of chem lights. Uh, we got chem lights. Yeah, I got a ton of chem lights. Yeah, I was about to say about that. Okay. Uh, those chem lights that I picked up in front of Ghost Eater. I'm throwing them back in the pile. I don't need them. Shit. Just trying to probe you, bud. All right. Yeah. 
Hey, you know what? I uh, I hate to do this, but I think we're probably going to end the stream a little early tonight. Um, we're okay. at a really good narrative point to pause before we get... I would hate to like literally just scratch the surface of the deep and then have to stop for this session. And oh, uh, between getting literally 20 hours of prep work done over the last like 48 hours and a little um, bit of fatigue. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm sunburnt like fucking crazy. Yeah. And uh, I've literally got serum oozing out underneath my headphones and I want that to Yummy. stop. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> this is a good place to pause for the week. And um, I am response right now on stream. <laughs> yeah. And I am very excited to uh, get back to this. I think this actually, you know, I, I, we, I read that note about this potentially being the one module that could be completed without killing anybody. And uh, I want to see if we can pull that off. Because, uh, I mean, we just yeah. got a bunch of I have, I have weapons just in case, but my, my intention is to de escalate whenever possible. I have a yeah. trink pistol, so uh, they don't have to die. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I also have an ultimate Max weapon in the form man, of an axe. Got a fast hand, okay? <laughs> <laughs> God damn both of you. He says, all right. So I will see uh, hopefully most of you guys on this Wednesday when we're getting back to the solar systems. If not, I will yeah. see you this Sunday when we come back for session two of Insert Name here. Yeah, oh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Holy fuck, I'm tired. That's oh, the literal name of the show. <laughs> I love that. All right. Bye. Have a good night.